Wow, I'm gonna just completely misdo the code there. What is going on, everybody? It looks like we got a little edit here. I got to fix here on Game Capture because it's got the wrong icon. There it goes. Okay, now we're now we're back. Okay, let's just jump all over this. Let's just go. Let's just go and jump all over the place and do what's going on. What's up, guys? Welcome to a special episode, the pre-pax version of. Of uh, the awesome, uh, the awesome uh, Roby Tech show. Uh, usually this is on Thursday, but given I'm traveling tomorrow, and honestly, we had to do some HelloFresh stuff. So I don't know if you guys remember a while ago, we basically did some things with HelloFresh, uh, showed you guys me ordering it. Well, now since I've basically gotten there, we're gonna be opening a box, we're gonna be eating some of their food here on the show. And remember, if we get uh, some, some, if basically the people, if we get enough people to basically use my link at HelloFresh.com, use the code code P-O-G-S-E-2307. Uh, you get 16 meal, up to 16 meals, three surprise gifts across six Hello fr uh, Fresh boxes. If we get enough of those, uh, then we'll give away a 3050 here on the show. So if we max it out, we'll give a 3050 away here on the show today. So if we want to potentially unlock that, uh, that's what's going to go in there. Yeah, I'm wearing some Overwatch. I'm going back to my jersey days uh, as well. So that's what's just saying. So if, we guys, if you guys are willing to check it out, uh, going from there and uh, go, uh, if you guys want to check it out, we could potentially unlock a 3050 giveaway today. And that could be rad. So there you go. That's some, some fun stuff. I got an EVGA 3050 and you guys can potentially uh, try some pretty awesome meals. But we'll get into that about an hour from now and all that sort of stuff. Thanks, man. I appreciate it. Uh, and I'm, uh, I'm, I'm liking life. But... The other reason we're here today, the other reason we're here today, and huge shout out to Corsair um, for hooking us up with pretty much all the parts in this minus the CPU, is this right here, which is the X5, X305i uh, RGB Pro White, um, uh, the RGB Pro White kits uh, that are available, um, and these just came out. Uh, if you were paying attention or you follow TechTube, uh, Jay actually showed this off. We're gonna show us off, and you guys are gonna get it to watch an epic two-part $6,000 uh, full custom water-cooled build uh, between now and next week, uh, and then we'll finish this whole thing out. So it should be go, uh, it, should be, uh, it should be super awesome. People are asking, what do you mean about Jersey Day? So way back, way back when I first started at Roby Tech, um, I used to wear almost exclusively East sport jerseys um so i wore envy a lot of overwatch uh and honestly like i was i had i gained some weight for a little bit now my weight is coming is is melting off i don't know if you've been following my fitness journey uh but i've just been gotten back to the size where these look pretty good um so i'm back to going on and wearing them so you're from i'm not from jersey you know here's the deal here's the deal guys why dad joke for the day why has california not fallen off of the edge of america yet why has california not fallen off the edge of america yet because New Jersey sucks so bad. I remember being told that joke way back in the day. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Uh, <laughs> that was so. I went to school in the East Coast. I went to school in the East Coast in Vermont. Um, when I went to school in the East Coast in Vermont, um, and so we had all of those jokes between. Hawkers and uh, Mass, they had names for boss people from Boston and all that sort of stuff. So that was uh, that was one of those great jokes. Uh, you lost one of 50 of your viewer base. There we go, Farger. Oh man, don't, no, I can't lose Farger. Farger's one of the big ones. Uh, but anyways, uh, and so anyway, it's, it's just a funny joke that I used to heard that I was hearing about that. And then you don't ask somebody in New Jersey where they live. You just ask them what exit they live off of, um, which is actually pretty, uh, pretty funny. Uh, what do you call a cute door? You call it adorable monoxide. You call it adorable. So uh, yeah, it was, uh, it, was, it was pretty funny. I like that little joke, but there is, there's one of those right there. Um, <laughs> so uh, it's, I hope no, I, I meant no offense to anybody. But yeah, it was it was fun uh, going to college up on the East Coast because that was uh, that was something I definitely learned about uh, from there. But um, what is going on, everybody? It's good to it's so good to see you. Welcome to a special Wednesday stream. Hi, uh, we're we're gonna be doing. There's a lot going on today. A lot going on today. So again, we got giveaways. We got cooking. We got built, water cooling. We got all of it today. Now, today is the first time. We very rarely do this, but we will not end up with a finished build. Now, you will see the PC post because we're going to follow all the correct steps that you need to follow if you're going to custom water cool your own PC. But by the end of this series, by the end of the two days, you will see how to bend, how to bend uh, water cooling pipe. Uh, you'll see how to cut it, all that sort of stuff. That will happen over the course of the two ones. Now, the plan is, is that this series, the hope, 
we'll see how this goes is that we'll essentially get all of the components into the build. Uh, we'll first, we'll, we'll, we'll basically um, bench test it. We'll get all the components in, talk about how we're gonna essentially run the loop. Uh, and then off stream, I'll do things like bend most of the pipes, all that sort of stuff. And then when we come back for the second stream, uh, we'll then uh, have like 90% of it. We'll put it all together, get it all fitted, do those last couple pipes right here on the stream, uh, last couple bins and tubes on the stream, and then we'll fill it, leak test it, and then we'll bench it. We'll basically uh, make sure it's basically good to go and is absolutely awesome and ready for, uh, ready for your epicness. So it should be, should be super fun, but today, if all goes well, and that includes water blocking the GPU, but we'll have to see what we need it to. I'm gonna try and keep this at right around three, three and a half hours today at max. So we should be wrapped up around 7.30. Uh, the main reason for that is that we definitely wanna make sure, just because I'm going to PAX tomorrow, that this doesn't turn into one of those super long marathon streams. Not that you guys seem to mind. You guys seem to really enjoy the marathon streams, which is super fun, but I can't bend anything, not even spaghetti. Well, that's not good. Roby, did you get some dinner the other night without my wife making you sleep on the couch? So I did get some dinner. Uh, I got home, we actually ended up, uh, I, I'm not kidding. I know today is a sponsor stream. We did have one of our HelloFresh meals. Uh, it was absolutely epic. Uh, my daughter actually made it, and so that's so I did get that and get to enjoy that. So I'm actually pretty excited because I had the choice of three meals today. You guys will see those when we unbox this whole thing. And I think we're going to have a burger today. I think that's the plan, but we'll see. My wife can surprise us, so she's going to be making dinner while I'm gone. Uh, I'm sorry about the HelloFresh thing. I'm sorry that you can't use that in the UK. Uh, but anyway, uh, again, uh, we're hoping, again, let's just talk about giveaways and go through that real quick. So we got our usual giveaway, the one, the two that will happen no matter what. The first one is if we get 500 likes over at youtube.com slash robytech, uh, then we'll give away uh, two $25 new A gift cards. Those will happen. That'll happen no matter what. We just got to get to 500 likes. Um, so head on over to youtube.com slash robytech. Hit that thumbs up button on the stream. If we get to 500 of those, as soon as that happens, we'll give away two $25 new A gift cards. The other one that we have is at the very end of the stream, if you've enjoyed this content, we've been really working on listening to your feedback. So I don't know if you've seen uh, the YouTube video I released today, but I am listening to everything that you guys say to try and improve the channel and make it more appealing and better videos for you. So all you gotta do is head over to youtube.com slash robytech at the end, leave a comment. It doesn't have to be positive. It can be negative, it can be critical. Uh, it just has to be useful. Uh, so it can't be, can I have a free PC? Uh, you look super attractive, I know. Um, nothing like that. It just has to be something that can help us grow and be better, It can and, and it can be praised as well. Uh, we'll be choosing one winner from there to just win a $25 uh, Venmo. It's just cash worldwide. As long as you can accept PayPal or Venmo, we'll send you cash. The only thing you gotta do is make sure you leave an email in your YouTube profile because that's how we notify you. We do not tell you via a YouTube comment if you've won. If you got a YouTube comment that said you won something, it's a scam. It'd be super clear, Robitech never does things that way. It'll all be via an official Robitech email. Um, so that's that. Now the ones that are up for grabs, if we get like a hype train, so if we get a hype train sometime during the show or a couple, then I'll always give away $25 new A gift card to that. That's that's a given. So if we unlock those, absolutely rad. You guys are amazing. Obviously, we need your financial support to continue to do awesome and epic builds like this. Uh, lastly, we have that 3050 that's up for grabs. So all you got to do is you just got to go over to HelloFresh.com, use my link, basically use my code, which is that P-O-G-S-E-2307, uh, which will sign you up for like 16. You can get up to 16 free mails and surprises and gifts. Sign up for a trial. If we fill all of the spice, so I think it's 30. We have to have 30 people sign up then we'll give away an RTX 3050 today on the stream over the course of three and a half hours. So just want to give it a go. We're really trying to support them and do something awesome. So that's the plan for today. That's all the giveaways. And then again, I walked you through what's happening on the show. We're going to start by benching, walking through the parts, all that sort of stuff. And it should be absolutely awesome. So that's the plan. They must be looking at me then, right, Tom? That's right, Tom. We're looking at you. But I, how, how has your week been so far? Has everybody been having a good week? I feel like I'm like leaning on this thing. Has everybody been having a good week? You guys uh, enjoying enjoying the week? You guys ready for the PAX East? PAX feels like it's like gonna be like a big show. So I'm actually pretty excited about it. Oh, I'm sorry, HelloFresh is not available in Pond. Can I swap the GPU straight up, or would I need to upgrade anything first? Uh, depends on what GPU you're upgrading to and how much power you're gonna be using. Still at work for another hour. Okay. Week is wonderful, Roby. Anytime I get to work with you, it's a wonderful day. Oh, Tom, you butter me so. You butter me so. So, uh, oh, 1080 tied to 30. What's your power supply, Duke? Great week. The caramelized garlic onion burger from HelloFresh is very good. I think that might be on the menu. We'll have to open it up and see. We'll, we'll, we're going to open it up right around 5 o'clock. 
would love to know proper way to clean your CPU and replace it or even replacing pins on it. Ooh, replacing pins. That is not something in my wheelhouse, buddy. Cleaning, we talk about that all the time. I could do a video on it because we got thermal paste on that 5950X, so maybe that's, that's we'll, we'll think about that for sure. Uh, been a while since it cracked the case. Yeah, you need to know power. Duke, if, if it's not 850 watts or greater, you'll need to replace your power supply. That's the biggest thing. Uh, outside of that, then everything else should technically just be plug and play. You might be thermal, you might be like bottlenecking and stuff like that, but in terms of just getting it to work, you need to make sure you can physically connect it with enough power connections and you probably have you have at least 850 watts i'm excited to see the build in the 5000t dy we've seen it we've built a lot in this so it'll be nice to take a little bit of a break after we get finished with this but this build is not coming apart i'm actually keeping this build what 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 did you say roby you're going to keep a p uh, yes this is going to be this is going to be the new game stream pc so i don't know if you know this but we are building a new game streaming setup so we are gonna try and add some game streaming because I really wanna play games and the only way I'm gonna be able to do that is actually stream to Twitch, to, just to be honest, because if I don't do it there, I always feel bad when I play games because I'm like, I should be doing this on stream. Um, so uh, this is gonna be the new game streaming PC that we're setting it up that way, and Cor but at the same time, it allows us to show Corsair this like how their HydraX stuff so 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 we're actually going to use their origin PC as their as a HydraX showcase PC and then we'll use this one um, as a game stream one so just don't play Fall Guy ES Optimus I'm going to get better it's going to be amazing you're going to be hey it's a nice Al shirt and look they even personalized it for me which is actually pretty cool so yeah Minecraft only yeah, that's right it's only going to be Minecraft streams. I only play Minesweeper. That's the only game I'm good at. You guys, I, as a game developer for 20 years, I actually was pretty good at games. I haven't played enough of them, but I got to get my skills back up. You know what I mean? Hey, Justin, do you happen to know what size screws are used in the Cougar case? I do not. They, the, you should be able to find that information, David, on, uh, you should be able to find that information on their website or email their customer service. They're gonna be the better people for that. I think some of that information is also in the instructions, which should be in your motherboard box. I'm still running a GTX 750. Uh, am, I, am I bottlenecking my RTX 3090 with an i9-9900K at five gigahertz? Uh, what resolution are you playing at? If at 1080p, probably. <clears throat> What's up, Average Gamer? Hey, Rob932, thank you for the prime sub. You're the man. Oh, we did get some subs already. I forgot to say hi. I'm usually just a lurker, but I always enjoy the streams. Well, I appreciate the resub, my friend. Monoxide213, thank you for the prime sub. Oh, and Igor1980. That's what I forgot about. Jeez, I'm crow, Ruby. Um, also, we have the RTX 3070 Ti giveaway that we're giving away for the month of April. That's what month we're in. We're in April, not April. We're in the month of April. So if you want to get in on that, and you have Amazon Prime. And again, this is all you have to do is have Amazon Prime. Cop, pop on over to twitch.tv slash robytech. Drop your free Prime sub because you get a free Prime sub with Amazon Prime. And then you'll uh, be entered to win a 3070 Ti. Now, if you want to get extra entries, subscribing at tier one, which is like uh, which what some folks do, that gets you three extra entries. Uh, tier two gets you five. Tier three gets you 10. And then every gifted sub you give gives you extra entries. Now, all of the rules and all that stuff are over at discord.gg slash robytech. And if you have any issues with that, you talk to Blondie. She's in charge. She's the one who did all that work. So anyway, that's that's the deal there. By the way, we are one thing away from a hype train already. So thanks to Dancing Rihanna. So thank you very much. Uh, so there it is right there if you guys want to get in. The extremely frustrating day here. I'm sorry, PC guy. Why was it frustrating? I do not work for Newegg. No, I am not. A, I do not work for Newegg. I work for uh, myself. I am myself. Oh my gosh. Yes, that's right. I forgot today's 420, isn't it? Well, I guess it's good that we're making food today. For those of you who have the munchie, Farger, 32, who's gonna, we're gonna do the mat thing. I, I'm, I'm trying to find a cool way to put it on the mats, but what we're gonna do is our biggest financial supporters, we're gonna start putting them on side of our build mat. So we'll start putting build mats and then we'll be filling our build mats uh, with the people who are our biggest uh, monetary supporters because you guys are what make uh, this show uh, possible from time to time. So thank you again, Farger, a huge one. Vicar of Mayhem, another one. Uh, Drafaz, another one. So many of you guys who just give on a consistent basis. So Vicar of Mayhem, thank you for the thousand bits. So Fly Panda, I just like that name. So Fly Panda, thank you very much for the the uh, the uh, Prime sub. Upgrading 30 ATIs and 12 is worth upgrading to DDR5 RAM and MOBO. So Bad Intruder, if you're gonna run at 1080p or 1440p and you're a potentially a pro esport player who cares about the maximum amount of frames, 
then yes. If you're neither of those things, then no. Hopefully that answers that question. So 1440p, you will get some uplift on certain games with uh, DDR5. You're welcome. Hey, man, I want to I wanna give you the honest truth. Uh, Jowki, Jaco, Jowki. Oh, Igor, another one, massive supporter. Uh, thank you very much for the Prime sub. PC Binge Master, 500 bits. Uh, Igor, 1980, two gifted subs. So I'm about to buy 5600, which budget air cooler do you recommend for me to buy? Where's Maiden? Is Maiden here? Was Maiden or, uh, or Burke? Give him the, give him the info. You know, BMOC, I mean, BMOC or, uh, or Wayne are there. It's called the Vitru. It's 39 bucks. It's awesome. I'm sure Tom will actually get you a link for it. That is a great budget air cooler. $39. What did, what happened? Congrats to Igor. What did, what did he do? Other than just be awesome, which he always is. Um, oh, you're welcome. Did you ever figure out the 360 cooler from the last stream? Rokamus, yes, we did. Um, so it looks like we, according, we talked to, we talked to the fine folks at uh, Gigabyte. We did a bunch of troubleshooting. Uh, they think we actually have a faulty unit. Uh, so we're sending that unit back. We did then go and replace it with a Z73 uh, and it, and the temperatures were in the 60s. So yeah, the V2 V5. Yep, there it is. There you go. There's two right there from BMOC. Uh, Tom, if you can get him a link, that would be awesome. I'll never buy anything here. Uh, where, from me? Why? Why? What did I do? I'm Robitech. I'm never going to buy anything from here. I put an EKIO this morning when I got off work. It was an adventure for sure with the tubes. Yeah, it just takes a little, yeah. Now that I've learned the right way to do it, uh, you just got to install it the way they tell you to. Um, so, yeah. <laughs> yes, he is. Uh, um, but yeah, that's, that's, that's pretty much the way it is. Okay. You guys, uh, level four, we got three minutes and 28 seconds left. Let's just finish this out and then we'll talk about parts and start, start the, start the bench process and all that sort of stuff. It's a $6,000 bill today. And I had the choice. Let me ask you something. Let me ask you something. How much, this is an honest question. Let's do a poll. Let's do a poll. Blondie poll time. Uh, question is how much does the value of the PCI build interest you in what I what whether you watch it or not that's a that's a genuine question so we were going to do a different build today in fact we were going to do a thousand dollar build and there was some concern and, and multiple of us went in there and we started, we started talking about this and we're like I don't know if we're going to get enough people who want to watch us build a thousand dollar pc and like benchmark it and stuff like that so we want to know if we do if we like every time I do six thousand ten thousand 8,000. Anything north of five usually gets really, really good viewership. Anything south of two usually gets pretty bad viewership. Now, we've had a lot of feedback from people saying, hey, Roby, can you, can you please, um, can you please make sure that, uh, you know, that, you know, you do some more moderate builds. So asking you genuinely, we're going to do a poll here in a second once the hype train's done, if uh, that's something that interests you. Um, there's a ton of people who can only afford. Yeah, I think I agree, Org. Uh, but it seems like uh, 0% my interest is in the parts. Vicar, you just love me. That's just the truth right there. But um, Ginger Oni, thank you for the two gifted subs, my friend. Also, it looks like we got one more person, 6 of 10, who somebody hooked up with that code for the HelloFresh. Price doesn't matter. I don't watch it due to the amount of product you put in. I watch because of you. BMOC 10. Whoa. Whoa. Whoa, BMOC, thank you very much, man. Wow, that's, 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 a, that's a huge, that, dude, that means a lot to me when one of my techs uh, does something like that. Everybody, thank you very much, BMOC, for doing that. That's, that's so appreciated. I'm actually like tearing up a little. I appreciate that, man. Uh, $1,000 bill is a good idea because it interests how cable management looks in cheaper cases. Zemo, uh, I will say this, I will say this, I make a $1,000 bill look good still. I still make a $1,000 bill look good. I do, I do. So, yeah. Ram clicks annoying. Hyper Zen, thank you very much. I know you don't like it. Still going to happen, man. But hopefully, the problem is, the good thing is, it's only like about two minutes of the entire stream. <clears throat> oh, good, dude. Hey, I, I, if, I'm, if I'm relaxing you, then that makes me happy. Uh, I don't know what percentage are we at because I can't see, because we, we're doing the poll. Uh, so I need to, I, I don't know what the poll, okay, so vote... I'm just gonna hit, I'm gonna, neither, I'll watch, it doesn't, okay, so I'm, I'm gonna go like this, because I can't, I'm gonna just, can I, this, uh, I don't know where we're at, Tanker, resubscribe with tier one, I don't know where we're at on the hype train, because it's covered by the poll, does anybody know? I want to not do it until the poll's done, uh, HP 500, I haven't done the H500P mesh, but I have done the 5000D airflow, and 5000D airflow is probably just one of the easiest, most customizable builds you can do, <clears throat> 
The poll is, I was called the poll. The poll was up. Uh, I don't know what this, oh, it said it got a dono. I didn't know who the dono was. So I don't know what the, I, I'm hoping, let's keep it going with the hype train. I don't know what we got, guys. Uh, uh, so holy, $9.99. Oh, there you go. Thank you very much, Munch. Uh, do you think the Lee and Lee going to have streamer support for the new Triple Eight pin adapter? And do you believe that the new Triple Eight pin adapter is going to, Uh, going to be the new norm for the 40 series cards. So, Cal Ral, thank you for the gifted sub. Uh, to answer your question, um, I think that, yes, absolutely, there will be a RGB version of that streamer at some point in time. I What I'm worried about with the 12th pin, and so here's a great example. On like cards like EVGA and some of the other cards, the, the pins are going to get moved to the back. So I think you may actually see GPU... Um, GPU cables disappear altogether. Um, like if you go look at my ultimate air cooling build, you'll actually, you can't even see the GPU power cable because of how I routed it with the, um, with the uh, Asus TUF 3090 Ti. I do believe, yes, that the 12 pins, given how much more they're 550 watts uh, per, are going to be the new norm for 40 series cards. I would doubt that we're gonna still, now I still think that you will, they will come with adapters to support um, uh, legacy PSUs, but yes, I believe that at least on 4080s and higher, potentially 4070s, you will see. I don't think on the third, on the 4060 series or 4060 Ti's, we'll see 12 pins, though I could be wrong. They, those could still be eight pins. Because most of those will be what are called upgrade, probably upgrade GPUs. But by 5,000 series, I'm pretty sure that we won't see 8-pin anymore. Um, did we finish Hype Train 73%? Okay, 73% on the Hype Train, guys. Let's not forget it. I know it's blocked by the poll. Let's get it up. Vicar of Mayhem dropping three gifted subs. 100 bits from uh, the Ginger Oni as well. At least they, at least what they are saying. It's what does he say? I'm sorry, I missed that. Uh, what do you think about the new Intel GPU? Um, so here's what I can tell you. Um, I can tell you that I was feeling pretty positive about it, but I'm starting to hear rumors, and again, these are rumors, that they're not going to be that good. That they're not, they're not going to be as, uh, they're not going to be as close to a 3070 as we'd hoped. Again, that is what I've heard. I do not have one. All I can tell you is what I've heard, and this is from people that I believe are pretty reputable uh, because they're doing some planning around the launch. So, but I don't know. We'll have to see. And level five complete. Okay, good. Thank you very much for doing that. Yeah. And there it is. Hey, Roby, just got my WoW stick today. Yay, PC guy. 102. You guys are rock stars. Super appreciate you. And uh, we're still 6 of 10 on the... Uh, we're still 6 of 10. So remember, guys, we get to 10 of 10. All you got to do uh, to get that... Oh, sorry, if we get to 30. We got to get to 30. So uh, some more people. Uh, you got to go use my link at HelloFresh.com. Use the code POGSE2307 for up to 16 free meals and three surprise gifts across six HelloFresh boxes. Plus, you get free shipping. So it's US only, sounds like. So I apologize for that, but if we get enough, then we'll give away a 3050 at the end. That, I, I will say it again later, but let's talk about build parts. What do you guys think? And we're almost done with this value of the PC stuff. You guys ready to start talking about build? Sorry for repeating. What is the best white 360A at the moment, and is it better than the EK Elite? Okay, so Koenig, Koenig I really like the white H150i, uh, especially if you can get, because you can upgrade to the LCD, uh, the, the, uh, the, specifically the ML120 Elite fans, um, are some of the best. $20. Thank you very much, man. Uh, I really appreciate that, Jacob. Um, are very, very good RGB, and I like the Corsair software. Now, BMOC, who just gave me 10 gifted subs, uh, more than likely is going to take those subs back because he doesn't like uh, Corsair all that much. But I really like the performance of that. We've done two 12900KS builds with that and have done very, very good temperatures using that specific AIO. Um, I have actually been playing a lot with the EK1 and the EK1 is also very, very good. Uh, even though it's more painful to get installed in terms of performance, I really, really like it. And I do, and the other one was the Kraken. Yeah, the Kraken Z73, which we just uh, stuck on the, uh, which we just stuck on our, uh, we just stuck on our, uh, uh, the 12700K build from yesterday or two days ago, uh, also a very, very good performing one, but it's, it's, it's hard to use. I haven't, so Galahad, I haven't used a ton, um, but the one thing I will say is Galahad is an Ace Attack. Am I, am I correct? I, I'd love to hear from Vicar or from BMOC. It, Galahad is an Ace Attack AIO, right? It's just an Ace Attack. So Ace Attack in general, I haven't had a ton of issues with. Um, so if it's an Ace Attack, more than likely Drewski Pusky, great name, by the way, uh, it should be absolutely fine. 
uh, but I really like, uh, the one thing I like about the Corterra 5000D and I really like also about the uh, 5000T is that you can do push pull off of your AIO. Uh, and we've shown in our little bit of testing, we're gonna be doing, the good thing is, is that here's the fun thing guys. We actually get to do, we actually get to do an apples to apples comparison between this build, which is a Corsair 5000T, and then that Origin PC that we have right there. So we're gonna be doing push-pull on a 12900K. The only thing is we could have some silicon differences, um, but we're gonna be doing push-pull on this one, and then we'll have normal just push on the other one. Um, we're gonna be replacing the fans on that one with ML120's Elite uh, as well, and then see if we're actually seeing a massive uplift in terms of doing push-pull uh, on this. And now we have a larger fan config video that's coming out later for both the 011 and uh, this. Uh, which Kevin's working on. It just takes three weeks to just test all the test all the different um, test all the different um, configurations. Uh, but uh, that is something that we're going to be testing, and that's one of the things I like about this is just how easy it is to do it from them. It's all about pumps made by. It's is is it all pumps made by one company? No, uh, EK makes their own. There are other companies that make their own. So not every company. I did you say something earlier? Did you say the last day that you were having trouble with was replaced? So Fat Peanut, we actually are sending it back and we replaced it with a different one until we get that water force back in. Oh, Galahad uses their own pump. Okay, so there you go. I don't, then I haven't done enough testing to tell you. Will you use the power board from Singularity Computers? Uh, Nephilim, I don't know. <clears throat> so, have you tried the Lee and Lee Unifan AL120s but controlling the RGB with IQ? Uh, Angel Luis Rodriguez, I have heard that that is something you can do. I have not tried. We do have, we've used the AL120s a ton, but we always use, now Lee & Lee has brand new software. They just released their version three. So we've just used their Lee & Lee stuff. Hey Roby, I ordered 175 i12. What the MOBA would you choose, white or black? So Brian, not Brian, uh, 12400. Uh, one of the things that I really like, if you're looking for budget, um, and we have this board that we're gonna be putting in there, uh, is the B660 Asus Prime board. Um, so, which is absolutely fine. If you're looking for something a little bit more, um, like uh, a little bit more uh, pretty, uh, the, B the B660 Tough is another great option uh, as well. Um, and then uh, white or black is really just a personal choice. Uh, if you do prime, if you do the prime, you can do a white or black build. They both look good. Okay, let's start talking. <clears throat> yeah, I know, Org. Yes, I completely agree. Actually, another one that I absolutely like is the Be Quiet Silent Loop 2, but you can't get it in the US because of the Ace Attack, uh, because of the Ace Attack thing. So there you go, Org. A little, little bit of fire for you. Okay, let's start talking about parts. Okay, so sticking at the sink, so again, so we can do an apples to apples comparison for this. Uh, at the core of this build, uh, we're gonna be using the Intel Core i9-12900K. Uh, no, not the KS, I thought about it, but because I wanted to test, really actually do an apples to apples comparison, uh, we're gonna go ahead and use a K. Apparently I'm using a new K, I've never opened this K, so there we go, brand new 12900K. Uh, we'll see if we got lucky. Still my favorite, I think the best one we've ever used is inside of that, inside of that air-cooled build. Um, because that air cool build, man, we were, yeah, that thing, that would, that perform so well. So there's our CPU. Uh, for our motherboard, because this is an all white build, and because I like Tom, we're gonna be using the ROG Strix Z690-A gaming Wi-Fi, um, and this is the D4, so this is DDR4, uh, so we're gonna be using DDR4 in this. Uh, instead of, I'm not gonna pay for up, the one thing that will be different between the one that we're having, the, R, the Corsair one that I have, sorry, the Origin one that I have does have DDR5. I'm not worried about that for thermal testing. Though, they do technically, from the custom water loop side, yes, it performs more heat, but I don't think it'll affect our testing all that much. Uh, if my techs disagree, they'll tell me that in tech chat. So, but there's our board. Uh, for our RAM, um, we are gonna be using Corsair Dominator Platinum RGB, uh, 64 gigs of RAM right there. So we're gonna be filling all the slots. This is why uh, one of the fun things about still getting to use DDR4 is you can actually fill all the slots still. Um, we're gonna be putting 64 gigs of RAM uh, in there. Uh, for storage, Man, why am I getting so many calls? For storage, uh, I do have another one. I'm gonna go grab it, I just didn't right now. We're gonna be using three two terabyte MP600 Pro XTs. Completely overkill, uh, but Corsair sent them all. Let me go grab the third one right now. So we're gonna have six terabytes of storage inside of this build, all of them PCIe Gen 4 and their newest, most greatest, most awesomeness uh, NVMe SSDs. Now we will be taking, we will be taking the, um, Oh, never mind. Do I have another one? Oh, nope, never mind. We're gonna do five terabytes. Now, uh, now, so five terabytes, not six. 
Uh, so we're going to have a one terabyte OS drive and three and two four tera two two terabytes uh, for our storage. There's all our three MP600s. Um, so there we go, plenty of storage. So one OS drive and the rest of them are going to be for games, etc. Man, I'm getting called by everybody today. Um, for our GPU, um, that's right, we're using a unicorn. And this is the only Founders Edition I have two of. So we're going to be using the GeForce RTX 3080 Ti, um, which is going to be perfect. Um, so there it is right there, the uh, GeForce RTX 3080 Ti. And of course, we are going to be water cooling it. So we're going to be water blocking that in sort of the XG7 RGB um, water block. Yeah, so it is a unicorn. You can still, they're, they're, they do show up from time to time, but usually the best place to get them is like in those Corsair deals that they do uh, from time to time, etc. So we are going to be basically uh, water blocking that, so which is why we're using uh, the Founders Edition. Uh, we are for power supply. Um, we're going to be using this. Now, I was told, I, apparently there's a door that I can cover in this, but we might actually be putting in a second screen down here in the 5000T instead. So I'll probably do an A to 64. We might do a video on how I set that up. So basically we can check out information, etc. cetera. Um, so uh, we're gonna be doing that. Um, but we apparently there's a door that you can cover this with so the black doesn't show through. Uh, Corsair doesn't have a high-end white PSU, uh, which is why we're using a black in this case. Now they do have a white special edition. The problem is, is that PR doesn't have it in stock. So um, it should be crazy. Um, but yeah, there is that. 74 degrees Celsius in gaming is fine. Kind of say it just depends on your cooling. I mean, it's not like it's gonna hurt anything. Does anybody know what the difference between the 5000T and 5000X? Uh, 5000X is the RGB version. It has glass, tempered glass. It's all boxy. The 5000T, uh, actually you'll see it here in a minute, has more RGB, a lot of stuff built in. Um, it actually looks different. Um, it's just a more premium and heavier case. Uh, but it's still made on the same, it's still made uh, the 5000X and five, the 5000 series, they're still both made on the 5000 series chassis is the short of it, yeah. Um, for our, we do have some other small things and then I'll get to the fun stuff. Uh, we're gonna be not using Asia Horse, guys. We're not gonna be using Asia Horse. What, Roby? Uh, we're gonna be using the Pro PSU kits from Corsair. Um, gosh darn it, why, do, why am I getting called so much? What do you mean? On the porch? So like it's the Amazon guy, I guess. Okay. Um, so yeah, I just was getting a ton of calls. Um, so it's from Amazon. Uh, so anyway, they, uh, who, yeah, who leaked my phone number? So this is our, uh, this is our cables. Uh, and then uh, lastly, we got some, obviously the water cooled parts. So we've got a 360, we're gonna be using two 360 uh, millimeter uh, radiators. So there's one, I feel like that's gonna fall. So there's one right there. Uh, and then we're, for cooling, we're gonna be doing push pull again. So we're gonna be doing push pull on this so we can do the test finally. So we're gonna be using three Noctua AF25s. These are gonna be in the push pull configuration on our one of our radiators as well. And then Org is gonna be really happy about this. Um, we're gonna be keeping the LL120s on the front, but all of the other, all of the others um, are going to be, uh, all of our radiators will have the white MF120 Elite RGB um, fan. So we're going to be using really good cooling fans on these uh, as well. So that will be, that will make Org happy uh, because we use QLs on the other build and he was like, why are you using QLs? That's, we're not, we're not in this case. We're going to be using really good, really good ones right there. Um, so there's all of our cooling. And then the last thing, oh, oh, a couple more things. Just to add more RGB, because there hasn't been enough lately. Uh, we've got two LC100, IQ LC100s, the, the beautiful uh, triangles. We've got the LC100 and an extension kit. I actually have like five of these. Um, so we'll, we can add all the triangles we want once we basically finish out. I want to do an RT on there. So we're gonna see if we can get an RT in there, um, if at all possible. So there's, our, there's some RGB for you. And then lastly, uh, all of the other stuff that we need is inside of here and we're gonna unbox this here in a minute. So we've got, this is the uh, X305 RGB Pro White 
This is basically water cooling in a box. The only thing that this is missing for water cooling is a heat gun. Um, so inside of this, we've got the XC7 RGB Pro White water block. Uh, we've got the X, uh, XD5 RGB White uh, uh, white uh, pump res combo, another white um, 360 AIO. We've got some QL120s, which we're not gonna be using. Uh, XF adapter, 90 rotaries, some hardline 14 millimeters, some tubing, some liquid, and then we've got a tube bending kit and fill kit and all that sort of stuff. So this is all included. Um, so this is a whole kit for water cooling. So that's gonna be, we're gonna be showing that off and unboxing that here in a bit. So that is also part of this build. Throw that on the edge there uh, with our water block. And then lastly, we've got a bunch of this stuff, but we also have just, just in case, a bunch of white, you know, like Corsair uh, adapters, et cetera, for water cooling and everything. But that is essentially the build. And then of course, we're putting all of that inside of our Corsair 5000T white as well. So it's gonna say, it's gonna have like everything that you could want all inside here. Here's all the parts that are going inside of this one case today. So it should be. Why can't you use thicker Oxar 7 rads from Corsair? Um, because they won't fit in the configuration I'm using, Russ. They won't, they won't like, uh, for me to use the side mount and then the top mount, uh, especially if you want to do push-pull, You the XR7s. Uh, and I don't know if they make them in white, Russ. I'm not sure. Um, all you know that there might not be enough RGB. Yes, there may not be. But I felt so bad about our ultimate air-cooled build that I'm trying to make up with it with the RGB from every Wells. So BMOC may have tuned out already. Um, BMOC, are you still here or did he leave already? Because he's like, too much Corsair in this build. I always like to make fun of BMOC. He's awesome. Um, oh, he's, he is still here. I've made, he hasn't left yet. He's still he's sticking around. Uh-oh. Uh, what's so yeah, that's that's what's going on here. Okay, so what do you guys think of the build? Thoughts? There's a lot of yellow on the bench. There is a lot of yellow on the bench. There is a lot going in there. Let's go and start putting the yellow off of the bench because we have so much yellow. So we're gonna start getting things off the thing. Looks crazy. Lots looking good. Thank you, Quintus. Good to see you, my Facebook faithful friend. I'm just kind of get things off of the side here. Yeah, well, this was built and sponsored by Corsair. So yeah, there's a reason it was, uh, it's Corsair heavy. Ellen 2 build, I wish, I wish. I had so much fun doing that. Uh, they have told me I will definitely be invited back. Um, they said I was the greatest, ho I was the greatest, um, I was the greatest second person on that show ever. And they didn't really say that, but I, I, like, to, I like to dream. That's okay, right? I can dream, yeah? It looks really expensive, yeah. That could be true. Wait, what? I will riot. Okay, uh, so yeah, pretty good parts. Lots of uh, NVMe SSD, and we're good there. Um, okay, here's our, I'm just getting everything out of the way. This is all stuff we'll be using later. Okay, so let's show you guys real quick what's inside of the kit. Um, so if you were going to do this, I think that's always a good thing. You guys want to see what's inside of the water cooling kit? I think I would like to show it off. You guys, you guys interested to see what's in here? And then we'll uh, start benching. <clears throat> yeah, you're not getting stream deals for 420. What you're getting instead is you're getting uh, cooking. That feels more 420-ish. I think, anyway. I think. Yeah, we, we just, today is really just about water cooling and, and HelloFresh and all that sort of stuff too. By the way, who was our sixth person? Don't forget guys, if we get to 30, 30 of you guys try out that HelloFresh thing, we'll give away a 3050. And so uh, details, we've done that. We've talked about the details and all that sort of stuff to kind of show off what that is there um, with the chat bot and all that sort of jazz. So <clears throat> no, 12700K would be absolutely fine with that. So, okay, you guys want to see what's inside of this? are not the best. What are not the best? I missed org. I missed what you're talking about. Oh yeah, I don't, I still don't even have mine. <laughs> I still don't even have my 58X, I just don't even have mine. Unboxing time guys. So we're gonna see what's inside of this. 
I like new stuff. Everybody likes new stuff. Yeah, they are, yes. They, we actually got, you guys, um, there's a video coming out. So, Org, we have a video that's coming out uh, next week that shows what we ended up getting when I fixed that, whole, when I finished that whole system. And you guys, and I put it on the tech chat, we were sitting in the low 80s when we were done with that whole build. <clears throat> okay, so this is the, this is the kit. This is the kit that you can get. Uh, it's like five, I think it's $5.99 for the entire kit. And like I said, it comes with everything that you kind of essentially need to build um, your uh, to build your uh, own uh, Corsair Hydro uh, X system minus a GPU block. So this is for CPU cooling only. Uh, and then also uh, the only other thing that you need is uh, a heat gun. So inside the box here is first we've got our uh, XD5 RGB white. So there's our RGB. This is our pump res combo. So which is rad. Uh, you also get, and this, guys, this is the most important thing. This, this right here. This is the most important thing you need for this build right here. Stickers. Everybody needs stickers. I'm trying to blonde his thing. There it is. You need stickers. You get Corsair Hydrex stickers. You know that, you know, stickers like RGB improve the overall speed of your build, I have to say. <clears throat> so there it is right there. No, oh, I did the wrong one. Dang it, stickers. Sorry, guys. Those are the wrong stickers. Stickers. There you go. Now you can see it. Stickers. Focus. There it is. You get Hydro X stickers. There they are. There's the stickers. Look at that. There it is right there. Stickers. That's what you want, right? All right, so bending kit, we'll open this here in a minute. We also get the XC7 RGB Pro white. There's our, oops, now I gotta go back to the other thing. We get our RGB Pro white. Um, this is your uh, block, your, your uh, GPU block, I mean, sorry, CPU block. Um, we get a Commander Pro, because you got a lot of stuff to plug into this. So we'll see what we can do with the Commander Core versus the Commander Pro. This has got temp sensors, additional RGB sensors, which is good because we're gonna be using this with our uh, hard line, uh, with our, uh, our lighting kit on all that sort of stuff. Um, we get in here, we get a telescope. Hey guys, it's a Corsair telescope. I can see you. You guys like my Corsair telescope? You get a Corsair telescope and you can put stickers on it. You can put stickers on the Corsair telescope. I think that's why they gave you the stickers was to put it on the Corsair telescope so you can have a branded Corsair telescope. Um, we also get, this is our tubing. So you get some hardline tubing. So this is, like I said, you get two kits. So there's your, there's your tubing. Um, you also get bubble, bubble wrap. You get some bubble wrap. That's important, bubble wrap. There is my next radiator, my second radiator, the XC, the uh, XR5. There we go. Um, we again, and in here, this is the part I'm worried about because now I gotta, I don't know if I'm able to rebox this up. Okay, so inside of this little contraption right here, so we get our fill bottle. That's a fancy fill bottle. You also get your liquid liquid and whoops uh we get some fittings so here's this is i don't know what this is oh okay so you get an you get another rgb hub so you get an rgb hub with this as well so they thought of like pretty much everything you've got everything you need in here uh these are all your fittings you get a bunch of fittings we talked about which fittings you get in there and then you've also got your ql 120 your three ql 120 fans so actually i don't know if i should rebox this up i think i should just well i don't know because i don't know if we're gonna uh, i don't know what to do i'm gonna put it i'm gonna pretend like I'm. let's see if i can get it back in here i don't think i'm gonna be able i think i'm gonna do this all wrong so here is all this it goes back in here how much you guys want to bet I'm not going to be able to get this all back in here. <laughs> okay, we're, here it is. So there's that. And then lastly, we'll open this thing last. We've got our, uh, we've got all of our things. Okay, so this, 
this one in here. So this one on here, like that. Okay, that went on like that. Okay, and then the fill bottle was inside of this. I remember that. The fill bottle was inside of this. I think this was down here. Okay, that was down there. Okay, here we go. We got that back. Now we put our radiator back in. Okay, radiator. And behind the radiator was bubble wrap. Bubble wrap. Bubble wrap. Bubble wrap. Okay. And then after that was the hardline tubing. There we go. And then we got, I just hit myself with the, okay, then we put this back in. And then we put this in. That goes right here. Oh, 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 oh. And then this goes right here. And then this goes right here. But then I forgot to put these in. Dang it. But I think I know where these go. These go right here. I did it. I did it. I reboxed it up. Okay, so the last thing that goes in this, I reboxed it all back up, guys. Uh, I'm putting them back in because I don't need them right now. So I'm trying not to go in the. So the last thing that is in here is the. This is the XT Hardline kit. Uh, this has got your saw. Uh, it's got your uh, little uh, your insert for bending your tube. It's also got a, a mount so you can easily cut your stuff and deburr. And then you've also got a bend, uh, an ability to bend this. So we'll show this off a little bit later. But th like I said, everything that you need for putting your P for water cooling your PC for the most part is sitting right inside of this kit. And then when we get to that part of it, we'll open it up and start putting stuff onto the build, et cetera. So, hey, what's up, PC Master? It's good to see you. So there it is right there, the entire build. But now, let's get to benching. So the first thing you always want to do, hey, Blicky D. Escobar, thank you very much for the resub and six months, man. Hey, it's funny that I'm drinking out of my Corsair water cooling kit, so yeah. I'm water cool too. <sighs> Box says 20, what piece did, oh, I forgot to put the stickers back. There it is. I'll put, the stickers are fine though. I'm keeping those out for my telescope. Um, okay, so uh, what, what we're gonna do now. So first step for water cooling anything, for water cooling anything, is you need to basically bench the entire build and make sure that it is good to go before you put anything inside of this, because then all of a sudden we're gonna start replacing things with water blocks, and we just need to make sure that this thing boots and all the components work, because the one thing you don't wanna do is do it all together, not test it, and then find out your PC doesn't work, because then you don't know if it was broken before or if you broke it during. So the one thing we're gonna do is we're actually going to go ahead and bench the build. And benching is just another, it's like bench testing. It's just what we, what we call it. Um, and so that's what we're gonna do first. So we're gonna put the whole PC together on the board of the motherboard. And not, not all the components, just kind of like the, 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 the M.2s and all that stuff. So we're gonna, you're gonna see me put the whole thing kind of together like I normally do, but I'm gonna just basically do it on here first, so yeah. Okay, so let's go to top down. We get to see this beautiful white Asus RG Strix. Uh, Z73 is a great cooler, Anonymous. Yes. You're welcome. Glad I could clarify. Uh, this sucks much. You know, this is a two-parter. This is a two-parter. Today is about getting as much of the build into the parts, into the PC as absolutely possible. That's what today's focus is. Uh, Capelli, yes, that's exactly what it was. Um, we were told by the team at Gigabyte um, that uh, they think it was a faulty AIO and that they uh, faulty mounting mechanism. Um, I sent all the details to my techs in terms of the conversation, but we're working with them to get a replacement. Uh, in the short term, we replaced it just so we could finish our case testing with a uh, Z73 from uh, Cooler Master, from, sorry, from NZXT, uh, and then the temps went way down. So, uh, what's up? Oh no, they're gonna be between, they're gonna be around 520. I'm gonna unbox this here in a minute, here on the stream, so. <clears throat> okay, so let us, I have no room. Guys, I have no room for anything. That's the thing with the water cooling parts is that all of a sudden you're like, I have no room for anything. Okay, so there's that.
All right, so, oh, what am I doing? I need this. Guys, I'm not thinking correctly. I'm not thinking clearly. <clears throat> okay, so now we're gonna put this like this, because we're not, this, I'm used to the usual thing. So what we're gonna do for benching is we're essentially gonna put this on top of here like that. And we're gonna do all the peels here. Uh, I feel like I've got a peel right here. I've got a big peel, like mass appeal. Ah, <laughs> do you see what I, okay. Oh, there it is, okay. There's the tab. Beautiful, there's like a peel underneath the peel. That's the first time I've ever seen that. I think there's a peel. Maybe not. It feels like there's a peel right here, but no, I guess not. Okay, so there's that peel. There's a peel on this. Oh, there we go. There's the button of awesome. I just like to push the button of awesome. And there's a peel right there. Do we have a peel on the back? I don't think on this one we do. No. Okay, so that is all the peels. The peels are done. Okay, so that's all good to go. Okay, now I need to go grab, and that's one thing I really like about Asus boards, is I need to go grab our L9i cooler. So I can have this all squared. Okay, so now what we're gonna do is let's take our brand new, which I did not know that we hadn't opened yet, but we have our brand new uh, Core i9-12900K. This is a 12900K, right? Yeah, just make sure I'm not putting a KS in. <clears throat> You're here for the snaps, they're coming, they're coming. Oh, no, never mind. never mind, this has been opened, this has been opened. I was just, I thought it hadn't, but it was just, I was tricking myself apparently. Power supply is the uh, RM1000X from uh, Corsair. Oh yeah, this has been used for sure. Okay, so let's go ahead and pop this open. Pop this open. Oopsie. Go from there. And we're good there. Curious. One sec, guys. One second, one sec. Hey, can I get four washers? I'm just gonna just do it. If I'm gonna water cool it, I wanna wash right now. This is one we've never tested, but it's an Asus. So odds are it's gonna need it. Thank you. Appreciate it. Okay, so I don't know if this needs it, but I just don't want to, because I'm going to water cool it, I'm just going to go ahead and do it anyway. So we're going to go ahead and washer mod this just to make sure that we're good. Um, so I'm going to be doing that now, before. And sorry, I, I had to take a little bit of a break there to go grip, grab the washer. So here we go. We're going to put this in like this. There we go. So our core nine is in. Okay, and then we'll put this away. Put that like that, like that. And we are good with this. We'll just stack it up here. Okay, now what I'm gonna do, is I'm gonna go ahead and apply our washer mod to the board. So I'm gonna unscrew these.
And we'll get a link to these, but these are the silicon. We have little small silicon washers. We're gonna put underneath these to just to bring the overall. There we go. There we go, just like that. Thank you very much, Portal. I am. Okay. Uh, no, not all boards need portals, but we, I mean, uh, not all boards need the, oh, this is the one thing where, okay. Not all boards need the washers, but we have seen it more on Asus boards. There we go. Okay, so there's our washer mod on that one. I'm just gonna do the same thing in the bottom one now. This also helps with the bending issue. We'll get you links to the washers we have that we use. I'll get those to, so you guys, if you guys want to do the same thing, again, it's not necessary. If you're going to, if you end up having an issue with your board, please make sure you remove these before you send them back. Cause there can be, Intel's been kind of picky about doing this modification, but we have definitely seen pretty big temperature differences when we do the washer mod. Okay, so washers are installed. Now what we're gonna do is just close this down and... Oh, wow, that was a good clear. That was a good clear. Did you see how high that jumped? That was awesome. <laughs> that was like, that was the best one we've seen yet. Okay, so there we have our washer mod in now. <clears throat> okay, now what we're gonna do, so something a little bit different that you guys don't necessarily see me do, um, is I'm going to go ahead and just put a little bit of thermal paste on this because all we need to do is get this to the point where it where it boots. That's all I'm doing here. So nothing crazy. We just want to make sure that it boots and works. So and then I'm gonna, so I'm gonna once I get the cooler on, we'll do the unboxing here. Okay. So I'm just gonna put that much thermal paste on for now. I'm not. This is not to finish it. This is just to get the AI. This this our temporary. Uh, water cool our uh, temporary air cooler on and remember we're just benching the build right now we're not we're not um, doing this now I know I saw some people ask hey Roby when are we gonna get to see the full build uh, the full build will be done next week so we're gonna do this is just to get this is just to get build in and then get us to the planning phase so we're just gonna put this on Uh-oh. Well, it looks like I'm actually gonna be okay. Okay, so this will actually, we can still, we should still be able to use this. I'm gonna see here. Looks like this one won't, whoa. I have, I have a, I love this cooler. Not a huge fan of. There we go. Again, this is just temporary to make sure that we get everything benched. Okay. There we go. Okay, so we got those in. Now what we're gonna do is just seal this all the way up. Now 
And I know I'm not paying attention to chat right now. I'm just getting the build installed. Okay, so this is just for benching. I just need enough to be able to make sure it posts and boots. So you guys are watching a full end to end when Roby Tech does a water cooled build, this is what he does. Okay, so now we have an air cooler on, which is good enough for us to basically be able to test our build. And then we're gonna take a quick pause and we're going to unbox something different. So something a little bit different, and it's it's kind of interesting because it stuff happens to be on 420 day. Uh, we're going to be unboxing our HelloFresh. So remember, this sponsor, this build is spot, this this whole stream is sponsored by HelloFresh. Um, and again, remember, if we get to 30 people who try out uh, the HelloFresh by using my code, go to HelloFresh.com, use my code POGSE2307, which you guys can see there, um, and we get up to free, 16 free meals and three surprise gifts across six HelloFresh boxes, plus you get free shipping. Uh, then we'll give away a 3050. We're at six to 10. If we get to 30, uh, we'll actually give away a 3050 at the end of the stream. But today, as part of the fun, is this is the HelloFresh that you guys saw me order, and then you're going. we're going to actually be eating this uh, on today's stream. So I'm gonna basically, I have somebody coming over here in like 10 minutes to come pick it up. And then we're going to, uh, we're going to be, uh, we're gonna be eating it. I'm gonna get to eat it. And you guys are gonna see how good the food is. So I'm also not gonna do this with the build right there. So here is our HelloFresh, which should, should be super cool. So you guys are gonna see what kind of quality food in here. So this is what you get when you get a HelloFresh box. So here it is right here, I'm gonna pop it open. Now they were like, oh, you can just you can just unbox it. But I was like, nah, man, people need to know if it's any good. And we have people like Vicar, I think it was Vicar, no, no, it was uh, it was uh, Maiden who said that some of their favorite food is from in here. Okay, so here's what we got. First and foremost inside of here is you get you get your 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 meals. So these are your your meal, uh, these are your meal uh, uh, kit things. So you've got here we got uh, chicken, sausage, spaghetti, bolognese, right? So again, you do have a bunch of options in terms of easiness to plan. Uh, they do use sustainability. So again, all recycled paper, uh, all that sort of stuff. Uh, we've also got firehouse cheeseburgers, which is, I think this is the one I was hoping that she makes, but we might get surprised. Uh, pretty much uh, what it has is uh, inside of here, it has the ingredients, and then it's also got the instructions on the other side to make these things. And then if, if you ever want to repeat them and make them from there. Uh, the other option we have here is sweet and smoky tenderloin. That looks pretty good. And then last one is the, oh, sweet and smoky pork tenderloin. And then we also got miso apricot, miso apricot um, chicken. So those are the three, uh, sorry, those are the four meals that I got. Um, we've been on this now for about three weeks now. We've been really enjoying it. And then you also get your special offers and then you get, looks like you get some more boxes, reward stuff. And then inside here, top down, this is where everything, this is basically everything comes packaged. So this I got yesterday. So you're seeing it freshly opened and packaged from here. So we can just pop this open. And then what you get inside is you get all of the ingredients. So here is, it says reuse me toss in the kitchen to sting. So like if we were gonna do, let's, let's, let's pretend we're gonna do the, let's pretend we're gonna do the, uh, the hamburger. So we'll see what's inside the hamburger one. This is the miso apricot. We got, these are the firehouse cheeseburgers. So we'll look in that one here in a minute. And then down here at the bottom, and then there is the spot, the sausage spaghetti bolognese. And then down here at the bottom, you can see that we actually have uh, the different meats. So we got, and these are all on a like dry ice pack, which you got chicken, uh, ground beef, and then you also get your, there's your cheese. Oh, I got a cheesecake. Hey, I got cheesecake. That's cool. That was a surprise. I didn't know I was getting cheesecake, but I got New York cheesecake as well. So these are all down here at the bottom and you get like a little surprise gift every once in a while from them. So that's actually pretty cool. So there's all of our meals there. So I'm gonna put these back in and then we'll open up the, uh, we'll open up the, uh, che the, the cheeseburgers. So there's everything you get and then you also get your meal thing. So here's that. Ugh. And then inside of each one of these little packages, I do, Darren, I'm not sure. I'm not sure. Yeah, it is cold. Everything is cold. It's all cold. 
So yeah, the temperature and the stuff is all cold and good to go. So inside of here is everything you need. So here is our, let's find our sweet and sour. Here is our firehouse cheeseburgers, which is what I'm hoping she makes, we'll be surprised. Here's a firehouse cheeseburgers with fried onions, garlic potato wedges, and creamy ranch sauce. So that's what we get. So it looks like we got some sour cream in there. Look at that, there's the buns. Not too crushed, they still feel good and fresh. There. You've got your ranch. So there's your Monterey Jack cheese. Look, there's your potatoes. There's your crunchy onions right there. And then you also get your Frank's hot pepper. Your, I put every, there's your, some original stuff. You get like nice clean potatoes. And then you've also got the ranch as well. So you've got everything inside of here to basically make an entire meal. Good to go. So we've got that. So we're basically good. And yes, it is all cold because and that was just from yesterday. And so, like you said, you got Yukon gold potatoes, which you guys saw in there, some garlic powder, some sour cream, some buttermilk ranch seasoning, which you saw in there as well, hot sauce, some ground beef, some Monterey Jack, some potato buns, and then crispy fried onions. And then you've also got a link right here that says, like, hey, if you had any issues, you can go here. And then you can, uh, and then from there, it also shows you again, here's how you make it, here's the sauce, here's the cooking, the patties, and then here's what the finish and serve basically looks like. So it steps it all the way through here. Um, and then when I selected them, and I don't know if you remember this from the first, oh, here it is right here. So prep time, 10 minutes, cook time, 35 minutes, and then how many calories per meal. And then I have, I chose a, a number of options. So each one of these, this is a 40 minute meal, uh, another 40 minute meal, and then of course we got a 30 minute meal. So you have a bunch of different options in terms of even preparation. They have vegan, they have fish, they have all those different stuff. So, you know, very easy to plan around your meal stuff. Uh, very easy and, and also in planning around your time. Um, so you have a lot of different stuff from there. And then again, convenience, right? It just shows up on Tuesday uh, and then you can plan around cooking and then we did two to four people. So pretty excited about this. We're gonna be trying one of these, Mrs. Roby. Mrs. Roby Tech is going to be building one, uh, cooking one, and then it'll be dropped off and delivered to me while we're streaming, um, and then you'll get to tr we'll get to try it. So we'll see, you guys will get to see a cooked and finished product um, as well. So it's repacking this up, and then getting it out for them to check out. So pretty excited about that. And remember, if we get to, if we get to, uh, if we get to uh, thirty, we'll give away a thirty fifty. All right, so that's ready for them to pick up. What do you guys think? We got no anything weird on the plane. Signed up recently through Mitch Flower Power and just made the burgers last night. Oh, nice. Okay, cool. What no kitchen? Oh man, I would. I think it would actually. I think it'd be fun to do uh, cooking streams. That's another thing that I think would be a lot of fun uh, at some point in time if we ever get to like that. Like if we're doing. If I was going to ever branch out, I've actually had a desire to actually learn to be a chef. So I think doing kick cooking streams would actually be pretty cool. So uh, I had the thermos on the burgers are pretty high. Oh, so a lot of people have actually tried it. Why do you need to do a washer mod? Okay, so people are getting back to that. Well, I'll talk to you about that here in a minute. Uh, get to 30, what, and give away at 30, 50, yeah. Why not just go to the store? Okay, so damn chip, so great question. Why not just go to the store? So. Uh, main reason being is that you get exactly what you need. So when you're charged, like when you looked at the overall price, um, you actually end up spending less because you're getting exactly what you need for a meal. You're also wasting less. So you, what you get is exactly the amount you need to make it for four people or two people. So versus going to a store where you're going to usually overbuy for an individual meal. So that's what it is. Why are the mix of HelloFresh? Uh, yeah. So w who needs sleep, stream all day long, computers and cooking? Yeah. <laughs> and the other thing too is I think uh, that's a good thing from Blondie. Sometimes you just don't have time to hit, hit the store. So some people, yeah, that's why it is. And like, so again, just comes to your door, uh, super sustainable, super convenient um, at the same time, also quality ingredients. And so it said you're reducing your food waste by at least 25% by using something uh, like HelloFresh. Um, and the other two is you just, it, it gets delivered same, like it's same time every Tuesday. And I've done it now for three weeks. So it's pretty awesome. So no, a lot, a lot of people haven't tried it. And again, good opportunity to give it a go. Okay, let me tell you about the washer mod. So that's gonna get picked up. I'll let you know when it's kicked up. We'll, uh, we'll see some cooking later on uh, when we bring it back. 
So somebody was asking, hey, Robitech, why did you do the washer mod uh, on the build? And the reason that we did the washer mod um, is that um, sometimes, especially on this newer socket, there's two things. One, uh, the pressure, sometimes there's pressure, right? So this relieves the amount of pressure that's actually put on the CPU. Um, so the CPU does, has a less chance of bending. The other thing too is that it also raises up the overall socket thing so you get better contact with your cold plate. Um, so with the bending, because you're not getting the bending, you're actually getting a flat surface and that has worked better with coolers. Now, you, wanna, you might ask yourself, hey Roby, what would be something that I, that I look at that would let me know if I need the washer mod? And here, let me show you an example of what, would, what a cold plate might look like that needs the washer mod. And this is a very, very, this is like the worst case example right here. So let's go to tech specialists. I just sent them, okay, so this, save the image here. Okay, so here is an example. I'm gonna see if I can add a, I wish I had one here. Let's add a media source, add new source image on screen. I'm just gonna add this so that way I have this all the time. And then here is, here's an example of what you might need. Okay, where did I save that? <laughs> when you, oh, maybe I saved it in pictures, let's see. Nope, I didn't. Okay, let me find out where I saved this image that I was trying to hit save. I saved it in downloads, okay. It's called, okay, I did save it in downloads, okay. Sorry guys. Where is the one I just... Oh. Okay, here we go. Okay, so here is an example of... Why is this not working? Okay. I'm trying to show you something and it's not working. Hold on one sec, guys, sorry. Let me try it this way. Because this is a good question. on. I, I don't like it when technology doesn't do what I want it to do. Okay, let's try this way and see if it shows up this time. Save this somewhere else. Save as. Uh, let's go here. Hold on. Okay, here we go. Sorry, guys, this is not supposed to take this long. Why is this not just showing up here? Oh, that's why. I'm really trying to do something easy and it is definitely not, it's not making this easy. I just want to put it someplace where it's, and it's just not, And this thing is being crazy hard about it. I don't know, I don't know, guys, I'm sorry. Oh, I know why, hold on. 
Oh, that's my, it's my own stupid fault. Okay, hold on. Dang it, Roby, sorry. I need to put a image. Ah! Well, I'm trying to load something that isn't gonna work. That was my own stupid fault. Okay, here we go. Um, Oh, okay, here we go. Okay, so this is an example of when you, so when you, so when you, if you need the washer mod, and so what this is showing is notice how you're actually, what you're doing is you're not getting good uh, connection or contact in the center part of the IHS. So if you're doing this, if you're doing this, then you're not getting that good connection. So this is where, if you see this and you're seeing bad temps, taking your AIO plate off, and if you see something like that, that is more than likely an issue where you would basically then apply the washer mod, and then you'd end up with a better temperature. So that is what it is. And so that is what we basically, yeah, it's it's no good. And then it's one of those things that people have had to ask for there. Uh, Z, uh, we've had it with MSI Z690. We've had it with uh, Aorus boards. We've had it with Asus boards. We've had it with almost every one of them. <clears throat> yeah, so I showed you guys how to do it. We'll get you guys a link on where to pick up the washers. Uh, there's going to be a video that comes out next week that also shows how to do it with a, with a little bit more detail. Um, uh, but again, Intel has been kind of iffy about it. There could be, like, if you end up having an issue with your motherboard and you're going to return it, please make sure you remove your washer mod before you put it in there, just so you don't have any warranty issues. So it's, you're modifying something, so there's always some, there's always some risk when you get from there. And then I always do it with the CPU inside, so that way I don't bend pens or anything like that in case parts fly up. <clears throat> so yeah. <clears throat> yes, it would sure thermal shut off before you could actually fry anything for sure. So hopefully that goes from there. Let's go back to top down and let's get more of this stuff put into the uh, build now. Oh, there we go, M4 silicon washers. So there, we've already got the link. Oh, these are already open, so. It's not where you throw your washing machine into the wash. Yeah, you don't throw your wash. You don't throw your motherboard into the washer for sure. That's not a good idea. By the way, the box is gone, guys. Food is being prepared. As an FYI, still six to ten though. Um, okay, here we go for there. <laughs> exactly, Ginger. <laughs> Instructions unclear. That would be bad. Uh, yeah, sea of names, unfortunately, yes. It's only for new users. My bad. That is that is worth noting. So damp chip, the way that you know is get your PC booted. Don't put it on yet. You don't have to do it. Put it on yet. See what your temps are like. If they're warm, take off, do what I did. Take off the uh, the AIO. Um, see what, see what the, the pattern is of your, and this is why I would always suggest if you do your thermal paste, do it the way that I do. Spread it evenly across the entire IHS. So that way you can test to see how, what kind of contact you're getting from your thing. Uh, no, not necessarily Munch, because especially thermal paste should fill that fine. <clears throat> so, yeah. Uh, no, uh, H, uh, it's Eternix. We are just benching the build right now before we go to water cooling. So this is just to get the build up and running, make sure everything works and is tested. That's what we're doing right now. This might actually end up being a three-part series. <laughs> Yeah. This is how you, this is, we're showing you the end to end in terms of preparing. Yeah, covers everything in thermal paste just to be safe. <laughs> uh, so that's the thing, MK, you'll see in almost every build that I do, um, I actually end up removing the pre-applied thermal paste because most of the time, especially in a 12900K, uh, or on uh, Ryzen 5000 series, it doesn't cover the entire IHS. And so on Ryzen, on Ryzen, you're not hitting all the chiplets. 
Uh, and then on in, on uh, on Intel, you're not hitting the new the, all the stuff on the integrated IHS. So you want to, in most cases, the reason that I end up removing it all is because uh, is is I reapply is because you want to cover the entire thing. Yeah. It's it has nothing to do with being bad. It sh there's not this isn't a bad thing. Some of this is like. Some of this is an Intel thing, right? They told people how to design the socket. It's not a bad, this is not MSI, ASUS, or anybody making a mistake. I wanna be super clear about that. <clears throat> okay, let's see how the clicks are real quick, guys. I know we haven't really gotten a whole lot accomplished on this build so far. Okay, we're gonna pause it. This is for certain people's favorite parts. Okay, here we go. I did. I, I thought I answered him, Blondie. I, answer, I thought I saw both the Super Chats. I answered the one question uh, with a 499 about putting scratches. I said use uh, the scratch question was use thermal paste. I'm trying to see if I saw another one. Uh, the build is nearly identical to the one I have. Only difference is that I have a Hydrax kit. I don't have an Hydrax. Anyway, enjoy the five. Always enjoy the five. Okay, so yes, thank you very much for those two uh, Super Chats. You guys are rock stars. Appreciate it. Okay. Okay, so here we go. Now we're gonna do, let's see how good our clicks are. First one. Dominator's always good. Ooh, that was mushy though, 78. Not the best on that one. 78 on that one. Ooh, 89. That was like a solid, nice, like easy click in. Ninety-three, solid good click. Eighty-seven. Both of those were the last two were actually particularly satisfying. I have to say, particularly satisfying. <clears throat> uh, well, this is yeah. This is yeah. This is the stage where you find out if any RAM slots are bad. Well, and then also, also the other reason we bench it is if any of the RAM is bad. Because, I mean, like, we will have tubes running in front of the RAM, uh, which does make it hard to, uh, to remove. Okay, so let's now get our M.2s installed. Oh, I was like, where's our M.2? Oh, that's right, we did the washer mod. What's up, Red Dragon? Okay, so let's get all our M.2s in. Okay. We can actually fit like four in here. Come out. This is like a shiv, like you can shiv with this one. I could leave this one off and just have like the black, the like I could leave one in that like massive cooler same thing with these like I could leave I mean the question is I mean if you don't like if maybe if I just do one here I think that would be kind of cool so maybe we keep like one of the cooler tops on I don't know I'll think about it as I open this up okay for, so first we're gonna do is grab our one terabyte These have that like massive heat sink on it. Hey, Igor's got a wow stick. Yeah, Matt, it does. It comes with a shiv, see? You're like, shh, shh. You're good to go. Okay, so here's our M.2 NVMe SSD. Look at, I mean, look at that, dude. Thing is so big. Now I just got to remove this. Didn't quite get that one on. But there we go.
they actually give you like nice little Okay, that one's off. Got to be careful. I don't want to pull a Jacob here. Okay, there we go. Okay, so first M.2, <laughs> I know I'm, I'm doing a lot of work, but I need to, need to get that off. Okay, so here's the first one. We are gonna go ahead and peel this. This one's got dual heat sink, so one on the top and one on the bottom. So I'm kind of okay with this one. Okay, there's that one. Takes a little bit of work to get these off. There's one terabyte installed. Now the question I had, and this is a honest one, right? We, so we've, re we've removed one of the heat sinks. This beautiful M.2. The question we have guys is, should we have like one, you know what I mean? Just to kind of show it off and then remove the other one. So like have like this one right here and not have the, or is that gonna look too ugly? Like if we did this one like this, and like had like one of those, and like had like one that was like sitting like that, or should we take them all out and cover them all? We could do like the one down here and like keep this one in and then do the bottom ones with the dual. So we like just have the dual down here. These almost don't fit very well. so thick. Yeah, these almost don't fit because even the bottom is like too thick. So I think we're going to have to remove them. Yeah, I think we're going to have to. Yeah. Yeah, it's got nice heat sink. So yeah, I think we're gonna have to remove them all. I think it's just they're not going to fit anyway. Okay. I tried. I was trying. They're cool heat sinks, though. <laughs> you see what I, I just realized what I did there cool heat sinks. Get it. See what I did there? Cool heat sinks. Okay, there's that one. Oopsie, shut that off. Oh, the bottom of that one actually kept the thing on. That one didn't come off. Actually, yeah, I actually might keep this on. No. This is like not coming off here. No. 
Wow, this is like not, you're not gonna save this stuff. That's like extra sticky. Okay. I don't even know why I'm trying because we're not gonna keep this anyway. Okay, there's that one. Okay, next one in. Now we'll put this in here. There we go. It's like a little too thick here. There we go. Okay, cool, that one's in. These are like thick, thick, thick. Like thermal, like the back, I mean, two terabytes are always like biggie. Okay, there we go. Two in, one to go. Are you guys hearing a buzz? Are you, is people hearing a buzz? I'm not, that would be new. Uh, they're not as fast and they don't require as big of a heat sink, but yeah. Okay, I'm just checking. Thank you everybody for tuning in today. Slowly getting through this build. With direct storage coming for gamers, will it be better to keep the NVMe with direct access exclusive for games and OS to a separate drive with a performance loss having an OS go through the chipset? I do not know yet, Ginger. That is a great question. Um, I do not know. I don't have an answer for that, but as with PCI 5, um, I don't know if that's going to be that big of an issue. So I don't know. Okay. Oh, I just threw that away before I was even done. Okay. Good job on that, Rubs. Okay, that's ready. quite loosen this all the way up. Comes off way easier. Okay. Okay, there we go. Done. Okay, now we have all of our M.2s ready. go okay cool let's get this off oopsie okay there we got dual m.2 
All right, there we go. There we go. Making sure that's up. Okay, finally got all the drives in. Sorry that took a lot longer, but we had to take heat sinks off, so sorry for the slowness there, but done now. Okay, so now that's ready. So we've got our cooler ready, all of our M.2s installed, RAM done. Now what we're gonna do is we're just gonna make sure that the rest of this works. So we're gonna grab our PSU here. Ugh. Boom, boom, boom. No, I've got a knife. I literally just, okay, I wanna push this over more. It's more on this side. There we go. I don't know, maybe it's a mobile issue? I don't know what they're doing. I'm glad you're enjoying this. Okay, so we've got this off now. I guess, is nobody wanting to check out the, I'm, I'm, I mean, I'm fine with it. I just don't, I'm just going in there. Nobody wanting to check out the uh, HelloFresh thing, huh? So, Silent Professional, thank you for the resubscription. 12 months at tier one. Power supply unit. Yeah, power supply unit. Nice, well, that's good. I mean, I'm not gonna have any issue with that. If you guys are already, I mean, if you're already a member, then I'm, how am I gonna argue with that? That's a good thing. It is, yeah, this sucks a month, yes, it is. It is definitely a pretty looking MOBO. Okay, so what we're gonna do here is we're just gonna get everything kind of hooked up and ready to go to make sure that everything is good. Okay, so here's our, first thing we're doing is we're grabbing our power supply. This is for our motherboard. We don't need more, we don't need everything here. All we need is our power supply for our motherboard. Actually, you know what? Just realized something. I forgot the cables I have. Oh, geez. Well, once you get these in, they do not want you to get them out. Yeah. Okay, what we actually have is a cable replacement kit. So I don't want to use these. I want to actually use those. Uh, actually, they have some of those, Vicar. You should check it out. Uh, the Fantex, you're talking about the Revolt? Yes, their Revolt PSUs are awesome. Okay, let's go ahead and we're just gonna keep all this together because we'll use that later. Close this for now. Okay, so here is our, oh, these are really long. I was not expecting these to be this long. These are specifically for, from Corsair for this particular PSU, yes. So I did not double verify that, but uh, then that would be, 
I don't, Andrew's pretty good about sending me the right stuff, so I would guess that these are gonna be good. Hey, something just happened. Thank you for the subscription, Melk, Melk Ar Mel Archives. Okay, so here's that. Okay, so there's that one. Now what we need is our CPU cable, which is right here. We're just gonna put, actually you have two, but we'll put just one in for now. Well, yeah, that's always an option. You know, I was just letting you know, they do have options, but yeah, I don't know enough about it for keto to tell you, right? So if not, it's all good. Thank you for looking. Okay, so CPU. There we go. Um, now we need our, this is probably another CPU. Yep, that's another CPU. Here is our VGA which we'll need, so we're gonna grab our card. Okay, so this is all of our cables we need for this right now. Okay, there we go. Let's grab our GPU. One thing I probably will order between now and when the next stream is, is a um, PSU, uh, a cable so I can have a white or a more standard cable for our 3080 Ti. Okay, let's put this over. And remember, we're water blocking this, so this is just to get the testing and make sure everything works before we use the build. There we go. So GPU is in. Well, this is like having a tough time going into this. Pins are right. Let's just try this one. The deuce. These are not liking to go in here. They're like a little bit too, th like this one's going in fine. Okay, that's fine. Okay, there it goes, okay. Just had to get a little bit of wiggle there. There it is, okay, that one's in. That was a little bit of work to get that in. in from the top. All right, this is like about a little bit of a struggle bus with these. Okay, there it is. Okay, so there's those. Okay, so that's in. And there, now we have, okay, so there it is. Our build is benched now. Took a lot of work, but we're benched. <clears throat> okay, so we're good there. Now what we're gonna do is, we're gonna hook everything up 
and make sure it posts. Okay, so when it's because I'm weird. Okay, so there it is. Everything is ready to test. Gonna grab our flathead. Okay, so what we're gonna do now is I'm going to turn the PSU on like this. They might be saying, hey, Roby, there's no power button. We're gonna go top down. So there's a power plus and minus switch right over here. So you're just gonna basically complete that circuit with your screwdriver, just like that. And now our PC is on. Now we wait, just make sure that we actually get a signal and that we are booted. And this is an important step for water cooling because you do not wanna try and solve this. You do not wanna try and solve this after you've water cooled and done all of the work, you know what I mean? Well, that's good, lovely. Zybar, that's awesome. Looks like a lot of people. Again, we're trying to get in there, guys. Remember, uh, we're during the stream today, like we are gonna try and give away an RTX 3050. Looks like most of you guys already have. Uh, most of you guys already have HelloFresh, but if you use my link, go to hellofresh.com and use code POGSE2307, which is right there in the bottom left-hand corner. You can get up to 16 meals free, three surprise gifts across six HelloFresh boxes, plus free uh, shipping, which is like free appetizers, free dinners, free desserts, and premium recipes. Uh, and then with that, uh, with that sort of thing, uh, then if we get to 30 people who try it, uh, there's like 600 people here. If 30 of you guys try it, uh, then we'll actually give away an RTX 3050. So right now we're six of 10. Uh, by the way, uh, you guys want to know, does it post? There you go, right there. And there it is. It is posted. We see all the M.2s right there. So Corsair MP600 Pro XT. Uh, we've got our Core i9 12900K. We see our 32 gigs, or sorry, our 64 gigs of RAM. How many PMP setups this case cannot have at one time? PMP setups. Does anybody know what Munch is asking? So, uh, so there it is. Everything's posted. We're good to go there. Now, one of the things we can't, we will do, I mean, you do have the option of doing, um, and we'll probably, end up, like I, I was thinking about this, what I could do now um, is I could just install an OS on it. You guys could see the OS install, put all the tools on it, make sure that, you know, update the BIOS, make sure that everything's ready to go. And then we can move into the build if we wanted to do that, or we can just tear it down and start putting things into the build. The one thing is, is that regardless, uh, we're gonna have to either do that on this stream or we're gonna have to do it on the next stream. We might actually wanna save that for the next stream because uh, the next stream, there's far less to do. So we'll just tear down the build and uh, do all that stuff here. We are gonna be doing push pull, yes, for sure. So yeah, uh, never mind. we're gonna do that later. So anyway, what we have verified though, what we have verified though, is that all of the components are good. All of our M.2s register, our, our GPU is working, uh, our RAM, all of the RAM is registering, motherboard's good, and the CPU is good. So if we have any issues post, then we did something when we were installing. It wasn't something that was broken beforehand. So is Newegg legit? Yes, Newegg is legit. I don't, I, it's, it's weird that we still get that question, but yes, I, I wanna answer your question. Honestly, yes, Newegg is legit. Um, okay, so there is that. We're good to go there. So now what we can start doing is getting this PC starting to transfer it into the case uh, and kind of tearing it down and preparing it for water blocking and stuff like that. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna get some of this stuff just retaken apart. There we go, there we go. So first step is just get our PSU, we're just gonna kind of clear our workspace. And by the way, the, 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 it didn't fry the PSU. Uh, what am I looking for? Oh, this, okay. Ugh. Okay, so that is in. It's gonna happen later in the stream now. Uh, 
I think, no, I think there's a lot of people who dislike, somebody's asking, am I the only one who dislikes FB car designs? Remember, we're not, this is not gonna be the design, this car's gonna be water blocked. So, it's not, this is just, this is just the card we're water blocking. Okay, so that is in. So you got that put away. Let's get these put away here. And this. There we go. I don't want to lose these. But I'm gonna see if I can order a 12 pin, 24 pin for that. Just a white one. There we go. Okay, so PSU cables are put away again. So we don't need these for a little while. Now I wanna show you guys something super cool about this motherboard. Um, and something I really like about the Strix and something I like about Asus in general are these little quality of life things they've done. So check this out, go to top down here. Right here on the Asus Strix, you'll see this button. Uh, and this button right here, you push this button and it basically unclicks this so you can just remove the GPU. So you don't have to use that little thing. And then we found a, so we that there's a little peel there too. But that button is a basically a push to release your GPU button. I hope everybody starts to adopt that. I thought that was pretty cool that they did that with this. <clears throat> uh, this has got 64 gigs. <clears throat> yeah, it's pretty, yeah, it's pretty easy, yeah. Yeah, I really do like this mobile. Yeah, guys, tomorrow is... This is going to be a two-part. The other thing, too, is that a, a, a stream, a build of this length is going to be a two-stream process anyway. Um, it's just going to have to be. It's too, it's too long to do all this in a single stream. Uh, even if I was to, like, pre-do all the tubes and stuff like that, it just, I want to show you the right way. And so it just, I, that's why I do it the way I do it. So you guys will get it. Plus, I don't do this very often. Would it make sense to have two push-pull setups inside this case? I used a micro center, was told that push-pull is pointless and is overkill. Uh, so you can't do two push-pulls in this case uh, because uh, you, the, uh, the case doesn't have the size for it. Um, we have seen our temps be really good, but I'll be honest, <coughs> we haven't been able to test it. We haven't been able to test it apples to apples. So this build is going to allow us to do just that. Um, so we do have push pulls because it's so easy on the 5000D Munch and the 5000T, but we have a 5000D that is a custom water cooled 12900K with a 3080 Ti that does not have push pull. And then we have this one that will have push pull. So we'll be able to test, answer that question for sure. Yeah. So that to answer your, the answer to your question is we don't think it's pointless, but we haven't tested it enough to tell you that for sure. And I never want to lie to you about something like that. So I'd rather just be honest and say, here's what we think, um, but we're going to go and try and find out. All right, so I'm going to remove the RAM just temporarily. You're going to get double RAM clicks today. Um, that's just because I need to be able to get this water block off. I mean, this air block off. But don't worry, we won't be doing the do, doing double sound testing for our, for our anti-click friends. Oh, nice, you, Yaku, that's awesome. I'm excited for you, man. Okay, so we're just gonna get this apart. Uh, you know, it's a personal choice, Rain, Rainwall. I do like them, but it's up, it's up to you.
I'll be honest though, that does sound like a very micro center answer. Okay. All right, let's get this put away and then we can finally get to putting the thing together. If you're hitting 95C, you're, you need LN2. I love the white Y60 Fredison. It's a great case. I love just the Y60, it's a good case. Okay, let's get this cleaned off and let's prep this for actual water block. I don't know. You could. I don't know if they. I don't know if that is. I don't know if it's available in England either. Okay, there we go. We got a clean water block. Complete. Sorry, clean. There we go. Cleaning, just the cleaning the block off of the Noctua now. You gotta put it away. There we go. It's ready for another bench test for another day. It's like my favorite bench test. Do they have an L9? Does anybody know? Uh, I don't know if uh, one of my tech specialists knows or do they have an L9i that is for LGA 1700? I, I would like to get one of these for, uh, I'd like to get one of these for uh, other motherboards. You can only really use it on Asus motherboards, but I was always curious if they have one for. For just uh, LGA 1700. Uh, I do not prefer pre-applied thermal taste because most of the time it doesn't cover the entire IHS. I'll look at what we get with the Corsair one, but most of the time I like to use my own because I like to, I like, I was just, we just, you missed a whole section where we went through um, washer modding and what you, how your thermal paste can tell you stuff about your cooling capacity. <clears throat> how are we doing on likes? Hey, congratulations, Yup, Jay. Uh, the, yeah, the L9i, do they have an LGA 1700 of the L9i? Um, I'm curious, uh, how are we doing on likes on YouTube? Just curious. Need 500 likes, apparently. 226, guys. We're almost halfway there. Okay, let's grab the first thing out of our water cool kit, by the way. So we're going to grab our water cool kit. First thing out of our kit that we need to use. So we're going to go to our scam link. There we go. 55, okay, cool. It's good to know. Might have to order one of those. I'm not building the loop tonight, no. We're gonna basically have, we're gonna get this as far as we can. This'll be a multi-part, multi-part series. I have to go, I have to head to PAX tomorrow. So I, it's, it's, we're gonna be, we're gonna be ending right around 7, 7.30 tonight. Okay, so we have bench tested. Now it's time to start getting this build put into our case here. So we can take this off.
Okay, so there's that. There it is. Okay, so this is LGA 1700, which is great. So you don't need to worry about anything. That's one thing that's nice about these kits is you're definitely getting the LGA 1700 uh, bracket with this. Hey, Daily Shit, da is it Daily Shit 89? Thank you very much for the, uh, thank you very much for the, uh, the sub. Okay. Keep this out. Let's go top down. So here's our brackets and everything, all the fun. So we, this one is fine. See, like this one I'm okay with because this actually has the entire, like you're gonna cover the entire IHS with this one. So this one's fine and it'll spread just fine. Um, so I'm okay with that. I'm okay with this, this, this spread right here. That's your TR4. Okay, let's see how to do this real quick. Package includes LGA 12-1700. And this has already got the 1700 brackets installed. Okay, cool. So this one, don't look like I use this. I basically peel these off to make these sticky. Putting this on now. Okay, there we go. Okay, so there's that. Then what we're gonna do Remove the I don't think there's any peel on that. No, nope, there's not. Okay. It basically just sits right in there. Oh, that's because that came off. Okay, good to know. I was like, where's the peel? Okay. 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 Okay, now we're just screwing this in. Oh, there's another peel hill. Okay, <laughs> keep finding all these peels that I didn't see. Did 
That one's all the way down. That one's all the way down. Yeah, secret peels for sure. I do not like it when, I like it when they come with screws, like the ability to screw them in. Sometimes the, the plates, that one's all the way down. The plates, like, like this, like the VRM gets in the way. I'm trying, and I know this isn't tight all the way, so I'm trying to like tighten it down. <clears throat> there we go. Okay, so our water block is now on. Whew, that was hard. <clears throat> water block's on. Nice and tight. Run this up and over. So this is one of the things that you wanna do before you put in your RAM. Okay. Okay, so now let's put in our Dominator RAM. And There we go. Yay, our mother our our motherboard is officially put together. Okay. First step is done. Finally on our progress towards the build. <clears throat> How's that looking guys? <clears throat> so I just wanna remind people real quick about the giveaways that are happening today. First one, that there's two that are guaranteed. First one is that uh, when we get to 500 likes over at youtube.com slash robytech on the live stream that's happening right now, uh, we will give away a 250, uh, sorry, two $25 new egg gift cards to two lucky winners. So all you gotta do is go over, hit that thumb up button, like and subscribe and you're good to go there. Uh, so that's over at youtube.com slash robytech that, that the, the stream is live. Uh, the second thing, the other one that we have is if at the very end of the stream, this is the other guaranteed one, it's at the very end of the stream, head on over to the uh, youtube.com slash robytech and drop a comment, feedback of any sort, positive or negative, let us know something you liked, you didn't like about the stream. Uh, this is how we improve, in fact, like the videos that we've been recent, releasing recently have been based on the feedback you've done. So leave us a comment. We'll be choosing one lucky winner worldwide. All you gotta do is have responded, as long as you can accept Venmo and PayPal. Uh, one lucky comment will win $25. We'll just choose you and we'll choose that after two weeks. You just need to make sure you have a, you've liked and subscribed, you've left a quality comment and at the same time you've also, um, you've also uh, left your, use your email in your uh, YouTube profile so we can reach out to you. That you will, will never tell you you've won via a YouTube comment. If you get a YouTube comment that says you've won, that's a scam. Uh, the other ones that are up for grabs that are still available. We have a 3070 Ti we're giving away for the month of April. Uh, the way you get in on that, if you head on over to twitch.tv slash rubytech. If you have Amazon Prime, you get a free Prime subscription. Drop your Prime subscription, that gets you an entry, one entry. If you subscribe at tier one, like uh, some, so many people like, Mecca, like Mel Archives, just Mar Mel Archivals just uh, did tier one. Uh, he gets three entries. If you subscribe at tier two, you get five entries. If you subscribe at tier three, you get 10 entries. And then every gifted sub, also gets you an extra entry. So Kalika64 got one entry, but if he gifted some subs, he'd get an extra entry, and all the rules for that are over at Discord. 
Lastly, today's stream is sponsored by HelloFresh. Uh, we are trying to give away an RTX 3050. All we need is 30, uh, 35, 30 people to try out HelloFresh. We've got six to 10 right now. All you gotta do is head over to HelloFresh.com, use code POGSE22307. You can get up uh, for up to 16 free meals, three surprise gifts across six HelloFresh boxes, plus free shipping. And those can be appetizers, free desserts, and premium recipes. So if we get to, if we get to 30 of those, uh, by the end of the stream, we'll give away a uh, RTX 3050 uh, to one lucky person just here watching today. So those are the giveaways. Just want to give you an update since we're halfway through. There's about 650 people here. So I just want to make sure you guys were aware of what's going on. Uh, it's an EVGA RTX 3070 Ti for the Win 3. So it's a nice 3070. So that is that. Now we can start getting things into our build. So yeah, that's the next step. I only have two thumbs to get. Thank you, SFP. <clears throat> All right, so we're good there. Let's go ahead and get our, our case stripped. Hey, Creamy Thick. Thank you very much, my friend, for the resubscription at tier one, six month anniversary. Ugh. Okay, so first thing we're gonna do is let's get these, these, these covers off. Let's get, this, let's get this case into something a little bit more comfortable. A little bit more, a little bit more sexy. We're just gonna strip you down, Case. Strip you down to your skibbies. Yeah, it's a big boy, which means you got lots of room. Yeah, Case stripping time, oh my. Get the children out of the room. Yeah, bow, chicka, bow, bow. Yeah. <laughs> Ugh. Okay, so there we go, stripping the case down. go I'm gonna take off all the take off all the tape while I'm at it oopsie here we go okay tape off there's that one Ugh. okay there's this Ugh. Okay, there's that. Let's get the top off. It's a little harder than I thought it would be. Ooh. Calm down, robes. Calm down. Okay, there's the top. This will stay nicely right there. Okay, cool. Okay, so there's the top. Let's take the dust filter off. Okay, and then lastly, at the very front, we're gonna take these off. I mean this off. First we gotta get the tape off because it's holding it down securely. There we go. Okay, so there's that. Now, what we want to do is we're going to remove the drive tray down at the bottom. Make sure we have all the room in the world we need. Remove our little extras here. There's our extra there. And then we're going to go ahead and... Okay. I was a little worried there as I was unscrewing this. I'll get you a side view. I'm trying to... There you go. Sometimes when you... When you basically try and remove this thing, they've made it like so tight. But in this case, we're good to go. So we don't have any drives we're putting in here or anything crazy like that. Okay, so we got no drives. Okay, last thing we need to do is take this out. So we're gonna remove this and we're gonna remove the side. because we're preparing it for ultimate, everybody say ultimate water cooling. Ultimate water cooling. Oh, let's put the, uh, let's point this more towards the case now versus my like water bottle. I mean, the water bottle is nice and all, but okay. There we go. Okay, time for ultimate water cooling with your host, Robotech. <laughs> <laughs> so 
Streamlabs, calm down. He's having fun. Okay, so we're gonna remove that right there. Okay, we're gonna remove this one back here, right here, okay. And then we're gonna pull this out. Oh, that wasn't supposed to come all the way up, but great. Okay, there we go. All right, that takes care of that. Ugh. Do not need that anymore. Now what we need is we're gonna remove this right here too because we're gonna have the side fans. There's that one. Another one up here. Just removing the screws for it. Okay, that one's loose. Okay, that's loose. Okay, now last thing I gotta do is two more screws. One up here. There we go. And then one more down here. Okay, so now our screws are done. And kind of, come on, baby. Let go for Papa. There we go. And now we're done. Okay, cool. So there's all of our extra stuff out that we do not need anymore. Last thing we're gonna add is our, this is for basically for pump water cooling. So it's just like the, this is like the water cooling plate. Since we're gonna have a pump here, ends up making it like that. We can do a train port. So this is, we're just making the room for Okay, so now our case is transformed for ultimate water cooling mode. Got a little bit more of this to, there you go. Okay, now that's all in. So everything here is good. Now what we can do is we're going to re-cable manage the parts that are, there's, there's some parts that they, Say they cable manage, but they didn't really cable manage, so I'm just gonna make them a little bit tighter, and then we'll be good here, so. It's little fixes, little things, little quality of life stuff, just to hide some things. So that's just cooling these cables in a little bit more and then cable managing them up, so then we're good there. So, we're gonna grab a couple of our little favorite parts here. Our, cable, our little cable zip ties. And then we're gonna zip tie these bad boys right here. And this will keep these kind of clamped and then. Now we are keeping the LL120s in. So those are gonna stay in. And then we're going to do one more up here at the top, just to make sure this stays cable. Managed. There we go. Okay, so now we have cable management. So now we got those cables hidden.
There we go. Okay, so now we've got that, but guys, I hear something. I hear something coming. I think we got food. I think we got food to try. I'm prepping. Our, our HelloFresh delivery is here. Oh. Okay, so what do we get? Okay, well. Okay, we're hearing, we're hearing Ms. Robitech. Oh, look at this. There we go. Spicy burger with onion straws. Spicy straw. burger with onion straws, okay. Jack cheese. Okay. Buttermilk ranch. Okay. Roasted potatoes with salt, pepper, and oil. Okay. And cheesecake. And cheesecake. What's that? Another one for whoever. Oh. We have four of them. Oh, you, nobody else wanted to eat them? Well, there we only have two people over there right now. Oh, okay. And then we got some cheesecake. New York style cheesecake. Did you see if Kevin would give me a fork real quick and then we're good. Okay, so here it is guys. This is the food cooks that you guys saw us open. No bubble waffles. This is the food that you saw us cook and open. I feel bad with it being so close to this food, this thing right here. So we're gonna give it a go. We're gonna give it a go here real quick. We need a close up. So she made it. Where is it? Okay, here we'll zoom in. So she made the food. There it is. We got New York. So the New York cheese, cheesecake was like a surprise gift right there. There's a top down cam with the whole thing. So she made all of this stuff for us. So we're going to give it a go. Good. Got enough to share for the class. Unfortunately, I do not. <laughs> the burger. No one else wants to eat them equals dad. Hey, I well, like, hey, I'm working on that. Yeah, it does. It looks really good. So this is the food made that we're doing with spirit. With, um, um, uh, and then we'll go from there. So here we go. We're gonna try this out. I'm gonna, guys. I, I applaud, I'm gonna mute my mic at times as we we consume this. I will. I promise to be relatively quick. But we wanted you to be able to like. I wanted to give it. Tell you if it's actually pretty tasty. You know what I mean? So. Thank you very much. Oh, it is. Mm -hmm. My wife is saying yes. It very much is. And then we got water to uh, to to drown it all out. So this is where it is. Now I need food. No ASMR. No, I don't. I feel I feel bad if I was doing ASMR. I think this is the only the second time I've ever eaten on stream. So here we go. Right here. I'm gonna mute real quick. Mm, as my wife says, dang, Gina, that's actually really good. Oh, there's some kick there. Yeah, it's spicy. It's got Frank's hot sauce powder in it. Wow. Oh, it's got the Frank's hot sauce. You can definitely tell. Um, uh, Tom says hello. Hi. <laughs> and then uh, we make the ranch. We had to mix up all the ranch, but it didn't take very long. Probably the. How long did it take to cook all in? 25 minutes. 25 minutes? Mm, that's good too. Uh, Kiri, I'm on all of them. No way from the boss. No, she she doesn't want to be on camera. She's a uh, she's a uh, spring break, and so she's in chill mode right now. So she's not. No, that's good. Mm -hmm. Wow, guys, Enjoy. I'm having dinner with you guys. So apologies if it's not making you mad. I say more onions. I'm trying not to make it. I, I apologize about it. Yeah. She's already eaten, BMOC. But man, this is actually really good. And she's like she said, it took 20 minutes. Wow, this is really tasty. I've never got to eat. Like I'm usually starving by this time. Like I usually eat when I get back. But maybe I should do this every stream, right? <laughs> Uh, Reggie, uh, are you on mobile? Somebody else is saying that, but it's only people on here on mobile. No hangry tech tonight. That's right. Sorry, guys. This is really good.
The problem I'm gonna have, guys, is it salty enough? I think so. Like, there's a ton of flavor in the burger. Um, yeah, I'm gonna wash my hands afterwards for sure. Uh, there's a ton of flavor in the burger. I'm not gonna be able to eat all this. Um, I don't have a very large stomach. So I'm probably gonna take like a couple more bites of the burger and then I'm gonna be full for the night. Uh, but I'll go wash my hands real quick and then we'll come back and then start going in there. Spread the dip on it. I'll, put, I'll try it with a little bit of the, the ranch. There we go. Do a little bit of little dip action for you. Alex, it's 6.36 it's, uh, here. I like that. You aren't having floppy disk and coolant for dinner? No, but I'm very full. Hold on one sec. Let's try this cheesecake. Cheesecake is one of my absolute favorite desserts, so this is going to be legit. Yeah, tiny burger or large hands. <laughs> you got, I'm trying the cheesecake right now. Here we go, guys. Cheesecake. Okay, it's very vanilla-y. It is very creamy, though. Oh, that's good. It's thick too, yeah. Like here you go, consistency wise, it's like very thick uh, cheesecake. Okay, I'm gonna go wash my hands. Put this downstairs. That was, I got to eat lunch, I got to eat dinner. There goes the diet, huh? I'll be right back guys, one sec. Be right back. I might need to, I need to, I might need to, I might need to, uh, lay down. Now I'm so full. <laughs> yeah, we just hit another hype train, guys, by the way. Uh, we now have, we have the ability to do another hype train. Uh, wow, that was, uh, that was very tasty. Um, that was very tasty. Um, and now I'm very full. Yeah, my man hit the food come already. For sure. Now I don't have to eat when I get back, which is awesome because I don't like eating that late. Okay, so what we've got right now, guys, is we can put right back at it, right back into it, getting going. We're getting right back into the build. Hands are washed, tummy full, good food. Definitely, if you have not tried it and you want to potentially help us unlock a pretty awesome giveaway, guys, I do have to say, uh, we have been trying it now for three weeks. We've really enjoyed it. Uh, just again, use my link, go to hellofresh.com, use code P-O-G-S-E-2307 for up to 16 free meals, including the one you just saw me try. Three surprise gifts across six HelloFresh boxes plus free shipping, and those can be things like that free cheesecake I got, free appetizers, and those other premium recipes. But that is that was very tasty, and uh, yeah, you should definitely worth checking it out. Yeah, the 3080 Ti FE is gonna be water blocked. Okay, so that's that. Let's go ahead and get our motherboard in. We got kind of everything else kind of in a good spot. And I've re kind of cleaned up.
Uh, you get to choose sinful. You, you, so I showed this, if you want to go back about three weeks ago, three or four weeks ago is when we ordered it. There's actually a whole site. There's a stream with the first stream that I did with this where I actually ordered the recipes and stuff like that. There's a ton of choices. Like, I mean a ton. Um, and uh, you can choose based on like things like keto, uh, vegetarian, vegan, uh, prep time, uh, and then uh, also like your favorite kind of meals. It's actually really good. Um, and the only two is that they, it's, then it ships within a week, so. So Cyridge TV, uh, if you wanna know, like that's a great question. And I kind of had the same concerns about Corsair from, and he's talking about, hey, I wanted to do a Corsair water block. The fact that Jay is actually partnering with them brings me a lot of confidence. And I've actually been using a lot of Corsair stuff now more recently. I think, I think Corsair is kind of in a renaissance. Now I know there's still some concern about IQ. IQ is still a bit of a resource hog, but to be honest, the 5000D, the 5000T, like a lot of their components, like their, uh, their LC100s, their new ML120 fans, like there's been kind of a renaissance, not only just in quality, but also in the performance side of it, right? Um, so I, like, I'm getting, I'm feeling a whole lot more confident about that stuff is nice. Oh, Kujo Baca says that you can also skip weeks. So like if you're on a break or whatever it was, you can also do that stuff. So, um, yeah, and there's people sinister saying, but their AIOs have always been really, really good. I think their AIOs have gotten better since they've gone to the Elite Capellic series, though. Um, I don't know where BMOC is. I always like to joke with BMOC because BMOC's like my, my, BMOC's like on the antithesis. And I try everything, um, but we've been really, like, uh, the, the actual, the, the, the performance has spoken for itself. <clears throat> um, okay, let's get our, let's get our MOBO in. Yeah, I think cooking streams would be a lot of fun. That's gonna look really good in here, guys. There we go. Look at that. That's gonna look really good in here. I think you were. I think you guys were right. It was better to cover all of the M dot twos. I think that's just gonna come out looking a whole lot cleaner. <clears throat> oh yeah, that was the old AI. The, the old motherboard. Yeah, BMOC. There it is. BMOC. Boo, Corsair. I appreciate BMOC though. Oh, by the way, I'm sorry. Uh, let's do this. Uh, no matter what, I owe you guys a giveaway for the other hype train. I should have done that, but we got we got caught up in the whole we got caught up in the whole uh, um, uh, uh, voting thing. Um, but if we get another one, uh, if we get another hype train, which we can do right now, um, we will add. Uh, I will do two twenty-five dollar new gift cards um, because I still owe you one uh, from the first one for the first level five. Yeah. <clears throat> so that's high praise coming from like some like BMOC that 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 takes some that takes some that some for BMOC to say it. Lee and Lee are much easier to wire and you can control the RGB and the controller along with the connect the fan. They're right. they're my preference RGB, but I still don't run any extra RGB in my personal rig. Or yeah, I have a lot of I have a lot of uh, trust in what uh, Org says too. He's key. I've gotten to learn to trust him in terms of his his feedback. Justin Jam eighty. Thank you very much for the uh, well, this will be my most my other rig i think the only thing i had in it was ql fans uh, most of my rigs have not been typically corsair this will be my first rig that's almost entirely corsair i will tell you a little bit of a th that I, I did that amazon stream for them and they had all that rgb stuff and like i was like you know what i really want to build an all iq stream thing so I can get all that light integration. So it got me kind of excited about it. So that's the, <clears throat> uh, that's uh, like another little bit of it is like, I want to see, I want to like do it like an ultimate IQ rig for the streaming setup. <clears throat> Lee and Lee versus Corsair. Uh, uh, Lee and Lee is much, much easier to wire. Uh, Lee and Lee SL120s used to be better performing fans. Um, and the connectivity is just hard to beat. I'm hoping that they're like Asus, uh, they're going to be something that innovates throughout the industry. Like I hope Corsair paid attention. So it really comes down to their, but their software is not the greatest. Uh, I've had a ton of issues with the Lee and Lee, well, a ton, it's not fair. I've had issues and we have issues every time with the Lee and Lee software when we're getting them ready for setup. It's just not as baked as Corsair's.
Yeah, L Connect could definitely. And, the, and they just came out with their third version. And so I, I think it'll improve. Uh, Cooler Master fans are, they're kind of like, a, I've actually, I was a, I'm a fan of Cooler Master. I mean, they're the ones who actually did the Prism Cooler um, for uh, AMD specifically. Um, their fans are okay. Uh, I don't, I don't, I mean, they're middle of the road. They're not bad. They're not the greatest, but they're not bad. Um, I, their AIOs, like their AIOs um, are okay too. Um, so yeah. Best non-RGB fans are the Noctua's. The Noctua's, Fantex makes really good ones as well. Uh, I always use Noctua fans. Uh, Be Quiet makes really good fans too. I know a lot of people who like their Silent Wing fans. Um, so best, and then Fantex are the cheapest. I like, I really like Fantex non-RGB fans and they're super cheap. Um, I don't know how Fantex makes their fans so cheap, to be honest. Like even their SK120s are super inexpensive. Um, and they still perform pretty well. Okay, there we go. All of our stuff is in, and we're good there. <clears throat> Arctic fans, I haven't used, so it's funny, I, I have not used a lot of Arctic. I know you guys have been singing the praises. I need to add, I have used it once, and we did it for that guy's build, um, who the whole thing ended up getting shattered in mail. Um, but we did his Arctic, he did an Arctic AIO, um, and uh, we did it with um, we did it with um, all Noctua fans. So I needed to use that probably a little bit more. I need to get I need to probably throw that AIO into the loop and do some testing with it. So <clears throat> okay, there we go. Yeah, T thirties are. T30s are great, but those are thick, like thick fans. <clears throat> yeah, I, uh, Kitty Cat, we actually have some. Um, so Asia Horse sent me some of their fans. We haven't used them yet in a build, but it's on our list to play around with. Noctua's are not cheap, yeah. Like anytime you're using Noctua fans, you're, uh, you're definitely paying. Okay, um, so what are we gonna do now? Let's go ahead and put together our, well, let's throw our LL120 in just because, so we have that right here. <clears throat> White LL. And then let's put our top radiator together and then we'll, so we can get the push pull installed <clears throat> and then we'll work on the bottom radiator. I mean the side radiator. I like I, yeah, the ID cooling stuff. I've not used a lot of their stuff either. Okay. Get our rear fan in. Get more white as it goes. We might have to bring the fan down a bit. I actually might do that now because of how high the radiator, the thing's gonna be. go. By the way, very appreciative of my wife for, um, very appreciative of my wife for uh, bringing us that, uh, bringing, doing that food for us. It was actually supposed to originally be uh, my dad, who is my EP, but he ended up getting COVID. So he's, uh, well, we think he's got COVID. He's getting tested. So um, my wife stepped in and uh, did that for us instead. So I super appreciate her doing that. So huge shout out to Roby too. 
for uh, cooking us a little cooking us a little meal. She did not have to do that, but I'm glad that she did. Okay, so we got so now rear fan is in, rear fan's in. Let's go ahead and do let's go ahead and put together the radiator for the top um, and uh, be good there. Uh, what we'll probably end up doing is we'll probably clear, fill it with clear coolant and then we'll drain it. Um, so we'll do the flush. We're gonna have to do a flush for sure. Um, so I'm not gonna worry about flushing the radiator. I'll flush it. I'll flush it um, through running it through a cycle for a while and then we'll drain it and then redo it. Um, and so we'll show all that. We'll show that all on the stream so that way we can get a drain of the radiator. And then we'll put blue coolant. The plan is to have this be white and blue uh, is our plan for the build, so. Hey, yeah, thank you, Pay, for all that sort of stuff. <clears throat> um, so yeah, that's that's where we're at now. So let's go ahead and put our radiator together. Because usually, normally what I do is I'd spend some time flushing the radiators just to get a bunch of the metal out. Um, oh, I should still probably do that because I don't want to get any, I don't want to have metal bits going through the loop. So I might, I'm gonna probably put it together, run into the other room. I might not mount, I might just temporarily mount them and then, uh, bef then I'll flush them um, because I need to flush the radiators and get all that stuff out. So um, that is something I'll, I'll definitely have to do, but let's get them put together and, and kind of put it in there. We're, uh, <clears throat> we're coming up to the end of the stream already. I, I spent more time talking and benching than I kind of expected. Um, so let me ask you this, let me ask you this because we're coming up, we're coming up on time. Um, not not seven. We'll go we'll go for another half an hour. But um, do you guys? How, let me ask you this: Would you prefer that we um, like I do another stream where we finish? Where like do you want to see the whole thing from end to end, or would you prefer that when we go in here, then I basically put the rest in and then uh, get all the tubing pre-done and then basically finish it. And so it's only two streams because there's a potential here that we could actually do three streams. Um, so it's up to you guys, which you prefer. Let's do a vote. Uh, would you prefer of, uh, let's put it up for a vote and then we'll, we'll make that the choice versus doing it all. There is a good chance uh, because I need to get to a point where I can actually plan the loop. So maybe what we do is we'd finish this and then we do a second, maybe the cheap build. So if I did, if I made it three streams, what I do is I'd probably finish, get this to a point where we plan the, plan the loop. And then we might do the $1,000 build with that. Um, so we do the whole $1,000 build, get it done, and then do this build. Um, and then, so you'd basically get two builds in one. And then on the third stream is then we'd, we'd finish the loop and stuff like that. <clears throat> I would say split the stream so you don't stress and get it all in no rush, the whole thing. It looks like most people are saying whole thing. Yeah. I want to see you do it all. Oh no, yeah, so I want to see you stuffer. Nice, Igor. <clears throat> I'll, it's good to, to, good to have some airflow unless you have a water blocked MOBO. Yeah, so most people are saying a whole thing. Okay, okay. Well, that's good to know. Let's go, uh, we're gonna put it to a vote over on Twitch. So let's get a vote up. Guys, remember, we can do one more hype train. Let's see if we can get that last hype train. Let's go ahead and start putting together our, uh, our radiator though. <clears throat> and go from there. I want to get as far as I can today. Um, I also don't want to drag it out for you guys. And I also want to use this build because Cooler Master, speaking of that, Cooler Master is sending us an RGB desk and chair for the stream room as well. So we have stuff coming. So we definitely got to get the build done. Okay, so here's our first radiator, which we would normally flush, which we're going to flush, um, but we'll temp mount it today just to get it in. And then we'll we'll flush it for sure. Whole stream. Most people are saying whole stream, so we'll get a vote up. I, that's what I've seen. I haven't seen anybody say, hey, make it short. You guys seem to like the content. And I, I don't get to do these very often. We actually have a number of them coming up, but we don't see, I, I know you guys enjoy the water cooling ones. They just take longer. Disco party at the Roby house. I like that too. <clears throat> okay, Foxy, that's fine, that's fair, that's fair. Well, we're got vote is up. Twitch.tv slash Robitech. Come and make your thoughts known. Come and make your thoughts known. Twitch.tv slash Robitech. If you want to have your, if you want us to do the whole thing, make sure you go over and vote. So the first thing I would do normally when I did this, and I just realized I'm probably gonna need, oh, you know what, I bet you Corsair, they give me enough screws for it. They, that's one thing I've really liked about them is they've been giving like, e even in their H-150s and stuff like that, enough screws to do push-pull. 
uh, even on their AIOs. So, which I've really appreciated. So normally we would take this and then rinse it, but that's me off, me showing that is going to be hard. Okay, very clearly, people say the whole build. 46 to four, okay. We will, we will now turn this into a three-part series. Even if you, especially if you have food in the middle of it. Okay, fair enough. We won't be doing food every time. And I appreciate you guys allowing us to do sponsored streams. I know sometimes sponsored streams can be interesting, but they are how, they're another way, like we haven't had to, you know, we don't, that way we don't have to ask for subs all the time, um, all that sort of stuff. So you guys have been so, you know, like so generous with your support. Um, and, uh, but like, this is another way of us allowing to do that and financing things. So I appreciate you guys allowing us to have sponsors and stuff like that and sticking around and watching and enjoying them. We try to make them entertaining, like, you know, versus just unboxing the HelloFresh thing, like actually cooking it and trying it and eating it and telling you how it was because they made me hungry too. That's good. <clears throat> Uh, Runcor, these won't be, these will be three, these will be, this will be two or three, this will be three, three hour long builds. And there will be some stuff that's off stream because I have to do, like I'm not gonna, I can't do all the pipe bending on stream. Um, it's just, that's, that's like a long and laborious process. But um, I will do, I will basically do the whole second, get all the things done. And then on the third stream, still do bending, but have most of the pipe already done. So that way you guys can still, I can still show you the technique, still show you seeing everything plugged in. Uh, Red Dragon, thank you very much for the thousand bits. Guys, we're close now to starting a hype train. Let's see if we can get that going. Um, and then we'll still show you all that stuff. And then we'll put all the, all the pipe in so you'll see the whole process. I just won't bend all the pipe on stream because that's that'll take me a long time. That's there's a reason like Jay it took forever too. So um it's just it's not a short process. <clears throat> yeah, cool. Cujo, you'll get to see 99% of it. I'll show you the hard bends. I'll make sure I do save a hard bend silent murder for sure. So you guys can see how I do that. Hey, see, this is what I like about Corsair. Corsair gives me enough screws for push and pull. Thank you, I think, right? One, two, three. Yes, they give you enough screws for push and pull. I thank you. <laughs> I appreciate that. I like, they're one of the few ones that do that, so. Yeah, you, I'll, show, I'll save like a hard bend so you guys can watch me go through that full pain together. One more guys, one more, we're hitting hype train. We just got the, we just got the notification. Okay, so this one, I have a picture of my loop. One sec guys, I'm gonna check and see what my loop is. Do, do, hold on. I gotta look at my loop plan because I just wanna make sure I put the, gra I wanna make sure I put the, uh, I wanna make sure I put the, uh, Whoa, whoa, what's no one? I'm just looking at my looking at my thing. Hold on one sec. Mm -hmm. Okay, cool. 
Okay, so I don't, I want to, I was thinking about, I think I'm actually, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put the raids. Hey, Hype Train, Bittersweet, thank you for the five gifted subs. Igor, thank you for the one gifted sub. Uh, J Jashinga, thank you very much for the thing as well. So, uh, yeah, so what we're going to do is I was just making sure I'm going to put the, I'm going to have the radiator going this way uh, with uh, the tubes going down. So that's what I was looking at. Okay, so what do I need? I need this. I need these. And I need a pack of these bad boys. Hey, Jedi Spidey, thank you for the five gifted subs. You guys are awesome. Thank you very much, guys, for the support. You guys hear a hum, too? Why are people hearing a hum? Uh, let me check. I hate this. I hate it when it does this. Let me just check. Um, some people are saying it when mobile. What is it called? Sound Elgato. I'm just going to make sure there's nothing in Elgato. Wavelength. I don't have anything there. I'm not seeing... I'm seeing, guys, I'm seeing no feedback that's showing a hum. So if it's if there's a hum somewhere, I don't know where it's at. Oh, there's a little bit here. Something is on the mixer. But I don't see where it's at. definitely not on this there's something you're you're right there is something on the mixer but i don't know what it is there is something on there But I'm not seeing, like, it's funny. I don't know where it's coming from. Yeah, I don't know what that is, guys. Yeah, there's, like, it's not, I don't know if it's something in the connection or what. Some low, oh, it might be from, I might be picking up a little bit of the audio. So, anyway, guys, I don't want to do it because I don't want to waste any more time. Let's get the thing. Sorry about that. But it's not. I'm like, so the thing is, is that, so... Just to show you what I'm talking about, and this is always the fun thing about, so I'm looking at the inputs into the mic. So I actually have a device. I know you guys can't see it, but it's called an XLR. Uh, it's uh, sorry, it's not, it's not called an XLR. It's called an uh, Zoom F6. And on that F6, when I go silent, there's no noise. Like I'm not seeing anything. I also look at the, uh, I look on the wave. Hey, thank you very much for the uh, Jashiga. Thank you very much for the stuff. Red Dragon, thank you all also. BX Latino Heat and Jashiga. Uh, I was looking at, whoa, special gift to, oh, never mind. I thought, I thought somebody had subscribed to the code. Um, but yeah, no, what I was saying is, is that even when I look at the, so the, the, the sound link on Elgato, it is also showing that when I stop talking, it's not. But on the mixer into Streamlabs, there's something, and I don't know what it is. So I don't, and the, yeah, it's no, the wireless mic, guys, please. There's no, there's no sound. It's not, it's not from that. I guess I can show you. I wish I could show you. Oh yeah, wait, I guess you have to look way back there. It's, I'd have to disconnect everything to show you. It's not the mic, that's the short. Uh, we're building in the Corsair 5000T. It's just Gremlin. Something is going on between my sound software and Streamlabs. It looks like it's a Streamlabs issue because it's not anywhere else. I hear dead people. Level four, guys. One minute left on that. Let's get level five. We'll do that. We'll give you another uh, $25 gift card. Yeah, it happens sometimes. I like their packaging for their new fans. Red Dragon, Rockstar. Star. 
Almost there. Ooh, not quite to level five. 33 seconds, guys. Red Dragon got us 98% there. Ooh, Gunlogger coming in there hot. Ooh, there he goes. He clinches it. Okay, I'm just opening up these fans. Okay. So there is that. By the way, thank you very much for those of you who did support via the HelloFresh thing. That does mean a lot. So thank you uh, for trying to make, and I mean for it, not for trying, for making it a successful campaign. It, I do appreciate it, guys. Thank you. <clears throat> okay, guys, last little bit of this level five hype train. Who's gonna clinch it out for us so we can do that giveaway? As soon as we hit level five, as soon as we hit it, I'll do that giveaway right away. <clears throat> okay, I definitely need to label these because I do not wanna, I wanna make sure that I plug them in the right place. Okay, so now what we need is these. I'll give you a lot here. There it is, TJC giving out 10 gifted subs. Let's go and do that, celebrating it. Exclamation point new egg now, guys. Exclamation point new egg now, uh, $25 gift card. Exclamation point new egg now, $25 gift card. We're gonna draw two winners just for you guys hitting two level five hype dreams. You guys are rock stars, appreciate it. Starting that giveaway right now. Exclamation point new egg now. While I'm putting these on. I need to make sure these are all the same. Nope, these are not the same size. Let's not do that. Even though you couldn't punk, they say you can't puncture it, but we're not. So these are different sizes. That's the right one. There we go. That is not the right direction. If that's going to go. Okay. Need to make sure you put these the right direction, guys. Almost backwards fanned it. 26 seconds. Mad Wolf, thank you very much for the sub. There we go, just getting this in. Congratulations, okay, our two winners are Lord Pants, Pansington and Rainfall Wall. Lord Pansington and Rainfall Wall, you guys are the two winners of the $25 new gift cards. Congratulations. You're the winners. You're the winners. Ooh. There we go. Okay, let's grab our wow stick now. Ooh. Okay. Here 
There we go. Okay, so there's that. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna label these. Oh shoot, you guys can see, I'm sorry. Top down. Let's grab a pin. We're gonna label these so we know which ones they belong to. Actually. Okay, so those are labeled. <clears throat> okay, now I can grab, well, I can use these, these are fine. You're hoping to stack what? Valiant one, thank you very much for the sub. There we go. Now what we're gonna do is gonna spend the time on twisty tying this stuff, making sure the cables come all the way to the end. There we go. Now I'm just gonna do here at the end, because I don't need these for a little while, I'm just gonna twisty tie these together so that way they're just controlled. Well, no white zip ties. I mean, these are hidden. The, the, I don't need the white for this. Okay, so there we go. So all our fans are done for this one. So now we just need to do the other side. And this one, we've got the Noctua AF-12s. There's one. OK, 
Okay, and just for fun, we're gonna use a white on this. These we're gonna have to unfortunately put together. There we go. Just putting our There we go. Now remember guys, we still have that, we still got that RTX 3070 Ti we're giving away at the end of the month. So you can still get in on that. And we've got that 500 likes uh, that we're trying to get as well. So both of those things are going, are still active for today, as well as the, uh, as well as the HelloFresh, we can still unlock that, uh, we can still unlock that RTX 3050. If we get to at least, let's see if we can get to at least 10. If we can get to at least 10, uh, then we'll at least give away another $25 new A gift card. Let's see if we can get at least hit six, four. We just need four more people to sign up and then we'll, uh, we'll give away a, a gift card just to celebrate at least hitting a milestone for HelloFresh. All you gotta do is follow that, go to, go to uh, hellofresh.com, use your code P-O-G-S-E-2307. You get those 16 meals, and then you guys can unlock another giveaway for the community. Hey, Diesel Gamer, thank you for the two gifted subs. Appreciate you, my friend. Yeah, we're adding extra fans to improve airflow. Well, it's just cooling capacity on the, on the, and these are good fans, along with the already good Corsair fans. It's adding a lot of rubber components right now. Well, I guess I could have put that behind this, which would have been fire. Okay. <clears throat> oh, congratulations, Diesel. That'd be awesome. Go get it. The fan is upside down. No, it's not. No, it's not. The fan is the right side up. No, it's not. Yes, you're right. Yes, thank you. I was like, no, it's not. Yes, it is. I had a brain fart. Thank you. Okay, one more fan, one more fan. This is why I like, I do like building with my community because they catch things like that. Versus when I'd like get done, I'm like, why do my temps suck? And I'd be looking for all the wrong reasons when in reality I just have air, f air like conflicting. What's going on? I started building PCs about uh, 2016. This is when I started. My first one. Or are you talking about when did I start building this PC? Uh, like at four o'clock. Oh man, I, again with uh, making myself extra work. 
Uh, no, I have not. You're talking about the Galax or something like that? No. I do know there are ways, like eBay, et cetera, to get a hold of them. Um, the only way I know how to do them is to reach out to the companies. But I have not been able to hold like a Galax or um, the ones that are sold in Asia. Noctua are great, but if you want RGB, then I do the ML120 Elites. Or the SL120s uh, from Lee and Lee. Yes, Noctua's are what they are cracked up to be. But the ML120 Elites actually have a higher H H2O M H M M M H two O than the Noctua NFF12s now. So Okay, so I have I need fan. I'm running out of fan cables or fan. And these are probably too tall. Will these work? Maybe. I'm going to see if these work. Oh, those are too short. How are these? Are these too short too? I feel like I have a lot of too short fan. Yep, those are also too short. I'm running out of options here. And I think these are all really long. Well, that is also too short. That is really long. That's what I need. How many of these do I have? Three, four. These are perfect. Oops. Oh, my shoe. My legs are so sore from today's workout. I think that works. Nope, maybe not. Those might not be the right length. Thought they were, but they're not. Nope, those are also not the right length. Okay, so I need longer than that. These look like the right length. How many of these do I have? I feel like I'm looking pretty good so far. These look like they're going to work, guys. Okay. Corsair did not give me. There we go. Okay, so what I want to do now is I just basically want to put one in each corner to nail these in, and then I'll do the rest. What is going on here? These have to be a certain width even. Oh no. Are these thicker? So these actually require like big, like screws even. Yeah, these like even require big screws even. And that's the end. Those are really thick. These actually require, these are, these are bigger. I don't know if I have any screws that will work. Well, maybe. Those are the same length though. I was not expecting it to require different screws. I thought I had enough, I thought I had the right screws, but these are like actually thicker. All 
Actually, yeah, hold on. I, I have a way. I, I'm okay. I'm, I'm okay. I know where I'm going to get him. One sec. Don't panic yet. Ooh, wait. What are these? No, oh, those are too thin. I know where I'm going to get them. One second, guys. Don't panic. You're panicked. Stop panicking. Don't panic. Stop panicking. Oh, shoot. Stop panicking. Stop panicking. Don't panic. It's going to be fine. I know I'm going to get some. Don't worry. Stop panicking. Stop panicking. Stop sweating bullets. It's going to be fine. It's going to be fine. Everything's going to be fine. It's going to be fine. Stop panicking. Stop panicking. You guys are stuck. You guys are panicking. You can tell. Stop panicking. It's going to be fine. Stop panicking. Are you still panicking? Because you shouldn't be. Okay, you should probably start panicking now. Actually, you guys should really be panicking. Nope, this is not gonna work. Oh my gosh, we should panic. I'm just kidding, it's fine. Maybe is it fine? Is it not fine? You guys don't know. You don't even know where I'm at. I could not even, I could have left the house. I could have left there. I could not even be there right now. You guys, as far as I can, you could be telling I'm on my way to PAX. You guys are getting like a live stream of me driving to PAX right now. That's what could be happening. You have no idea what's going on. You should start panicking though. Because am I even gonna come back to the stream? Is that gonna happen? Oh yeah, here we go. Right size. Okay, so these are the right ones. Are you guys still panicked? Okay, we got the right screws now. Okay, I hope. There we go. Yep, those are the right ones, okay. And what I'm doing is I'm just putting one screw in and so I can keep these locked in and then I'll mount the rest. Okay, cool. Then we're just gonna do the same thing with this that we did with the other one. There we go. Okay. Okay, let us grab our case. One little, one little thing I'm gonna have to do is this 
installer EP is CPU, EPU, EPS, CPU connectors. CPU, where are you? Second CPU. There we go. Okay. Getting this last one in. Okay, now let's see all goes according to plan like it's supposed to. Will it go according to plan is the question. Got to figure out how to get these. question is, are these Corsair ones long enough to go through the tops? I think so. Okay, there's that one. To use the longer ones for this. No, let's use the longer ones. I feel like that one was able to go in. It's actually in. No, it's in. Okay, maybe not. Maybe that's just not lined up. Definitely screwed in though, okay. There we go, okay. Well, I dropped it, but I screwed it in, so it's fine.
Why is it not going up through the back? There we go, okay. Okay, so that's in. Those are screwed in. Now, I'm not gonna be putting too much in. I'm just gonna put enough in to hold, because again, I'm gonna be taking these out to, to, uh, to um, I'm gonna be put, taking these out to, come on. Taking these out to uh, uh, flush them. Okay, there we go. I don't only have four. That's weird. Well, it's fine for now. I just don't feel, I feel like I'm shy on screws here, but this'll work in the short term. I have a lot of these. Okay, so we've got push-pull now at the top. Our EPS is installed. Cables look good, actually. I actually like the way those look. Okay, so the last thing, well, it's 737. So the last thing I want to do, I wanted to do, because then we'll have all the components for the most part in, um, would be, uh, would be um, actually, would actually be putting the, putting this, building this unit together. So actually having this and uh, building this out. So putting the radiator and the pump on here, because the plan is to put the pump uh, right here on the, actually installed on the radiator. So that's the last part that we actually have. Because outside of this, like the build's actually in really good shape. Um, we, like I said, we have, all we have is like literally the pump and then we're on the next, so on the next episode, so on the next episode, what we're going to do is we will do that. We'll install the pump and the radiator, the other pump and radiator. I will have flushed the rads, which will be important. So we'll flush the rads. Um, and then we'll GP, we'll GP, we'll water block the GPU. Um, and then from there we'll do all the cable management and then get the loop planned. So that's a, that's going to be quite a bit of time. That'll be a full stream right there. And then in the last stream, uh, I, then from there, I'll basically start bending all the pipe. Uh, and then on the last stream, what we'll do is we'll actually, uh, we'll actually uh, um, put all the loop together, bend some difficult, bend one or two difficult runs. Uh, and then from there, we'll uh, then uh, go and, uh, we'll then go and uh, fill the loop, uh, leak test it, and then benchmark it. So that's the, uh, that's the plan. Uh, for uh, the other streams, but I think for today, I think for today, I think we're done because I, I got to get ready for packs and I got to do laundry. Uh, but I want to make sure I did a stream today for you guys and make sure everything was essentially good. Um, so yeah, it seems like everything was actually really good there. Whoopsie. Um, and we're good to go there. Super appreciate all of you guys. So how many likes do we end up with you on YouTube? Uh, did we, oh, there was a re-roll. Did we need to re-roll the winner? I'm sorry. Oh, Blondie might've texted me. Let me see. We can, we can just, when we do the last one, we'll, we'll do another draw. Hold on. Let me see what Blondie says. We have to re-roll one of the gift cards. One winner won a couple weeks ago. Okay, cool. So we'll redo. How many likes do we have on YouTube? How are we doing on that? Yeah, we do. She did say we're going to re-roll guys. 380. Okay, guys, we have, we have, let's see if we, can we get to four, can we get to 450? We're, there's 373 people and we have a number over there. Um, and then uh, go ahead and let's see, can we get to 450 at least? Go ahead and over to youtube.com slash robytech. Uh, enter all of that. Uh, go and get all of that. Uh, see what entries you can get done. I'm going to kind of push this stuff in for now. And I kind of start cleaning up. And then while you guys do that, let's see if we can get you guys to 450. Go on over there, head on over there, take, give, do a giveaway, because I'd love to sit there and give three $25 gift cards away. Can we get to 450 at least? And then we'll go from there. 
And then while we're doing that, guys, I want to give you guys some updates. So there, we are, we got a couple packs for packs since that's coming up, since I'm leaving for there tomorrow. Some updates on what's happening at PAX. First and foremost, uh, I am on a PAX panel about overclocking. Uh, that PAX panel for overclocking is gonna be happening uh, at 11.30 Eastern time. We'll have all the details. Make sure you follow me on socials over at, at RobyTech on Twitter. Um, if you wanna know when that's gonna be happening, I'm gonna be doing that with some pretty cool overclocking individuals. We're gonna be talking about PC modding. Mods by Ben is on it. Sorry, not Mods by Ben, Mods by Mods uh, and some others uh, just to talk about like where PC building has come and gone. There's gonna be a little bit about overclocking and all that sort of stuff. So that be, should be super, super cool. Uh, I'm just getting the case put back together so we can store it. So that's gonna be happening. And then we are gonna be building a build with BoxBox. Box. So that's gonna be happening on Saturday. Uh, so on Intel and of course on this channel as well. So that's your stream for Saturday. We're gonna be building a PC with BoxBox. Box. Um, it's going to be an MSI and it's supposed to be a special system with some theming and stuff. So that's all I know so far, um, but it should be a lot of fun. It'll be on the, from the floor, from the floor at PAX, which would be cool, um, at the Intel. So Intel's got a massive booth at PAX this year. So it'll be from their floor uh, at PAX to doing the build. Um, so that should be really, really fun. Uh, and then we're back on Monday. Uh, Monday is, we're doing something. I don't remember what we're doing on Monday. I think Monday, we might continue this build. This might be the Monday continue build. Uh, so this might be continuing on Monday. We might do part two of this build on Monday. And then Wednesday, I'm pretty excited because we're doing a build from all parts purchased at GameStop. So that's gonna be happening at GameStop. We're gonna be doing an, a GameStop build. Um, they've been uh, improving their part availability and stuff like that. So another option for PC parts uh, coming up and that's gonna be at GameStop and that'll be happening on Wednesday. And then uh, we have, I'm trying to think of when the other builds are. Yeah, so then I think this build is supposed to be on Saturday um, as well. So we have, some, we have some good builds coming up, some good fun coming up and all that sort of stuff as well. So just putting the case back together so we can store it so it's not damaged. <laughs> what are we doing? What are we have? 420 likes. Come on guys, let's see if we can get those last 30 likes. We're super close. That was a fun stream. Not as much done today as I thought we would get done. Sorry about that. Still got a lot done, but not as much as I wanted to. We, I was hoping to, I think I was expecting to get a whole lot further. And there we go. So this is the status of the build so far. All picked up. We did get, we did get the water. So I, there's another reason that this took as long as it did is also because we benched it. So we basically made sure all the parts worked before, but here is the status of the bench. I mean, the status of the PC. Um, we have water block installed, RAM, um, basically all three NVMe drives. We got our push pull on our rad done with things in the right place there. Okay, that's good. Uh, so now what we have left is we're gonna do the radiator with the pump. So we're gonna be doing ML120s inverse on that. Uh, we've got to water block our GPU, get that installed. Uh, then we got to do PSU, get everything run. So we're basically good there. And then from there, and then all our cables managed, GPU, uh, GPU installed, and then our fittings done. So that'll be the second stream. And then the third stream will then run all the, run all the tubing and everything. So it'll be pretty cool. Three more guys, and then we'll draw three winners. Whew, that was a, that was a day. Something. <laughs> Saved cert 447. Yeah, we'll have most of the tubing done. We'll have most of the tubing. I'll have most of the tubing done before, but then we'll do a couple bends on the stream. It'll be cool when it's all finished. And it's going to be ice blue and it'll be ice blue. Oh, we also have the LC 100s to do too. So yeah, there's some LC 100 work to be done as well. Yeah, so 451 guys. Look at that. You guys are rock stars. Okay, let's do that last giveaway. Same thing, exclamation point, new egg now. We're gonna draw three winners. Three $25 gift cards, there we go. Starting now, two minutes, exclamation point, new egg now.
Two minutes, guys. You'll get this kind of cleaned up. It's weird that this is a build for me. Most of the time I like save all this stuff, but this is this build's being kept. Oops. Yeah. There we go. Areas cleaned up. Okay, picking our winners. Okay, so Frode, so Skull underscore E, Frodone, Frodonoculus, and Old School over on YouTube. So we got a mixture this time. So there it is right there. There it is right there, Old School, Frodonoculus, and Skolly. Congratulations, you guys. You are the winners of the $25 new gift card. Yeah, congratulations, old school. So what do you guys think so far? It's looking like it's coming together. What Turtle was talking about, I had to ask if Game was free or if they were paid in you and store credit. No, they sent me all the parts. They sent me all the parts. And we have, uh, we have some pretty cool builds coming up, guys, as well. We have the May the 4th build, which we're going to be doing, you guys, and giving away. So we have lots of stuff still coming out that's going to be super, super red. It looks like a computer, whereas before it looked like a lot of parts. Hey, that's, that's pretty good, Alien Spore Bomb. Okay. Well, did you guys have fun? Are you a little disappointed? This is the first time. I always feel bad because I feel like... We don't do this to the point where we always have a completed bill, but at the same time, I think you guys are right. Sometimes doing those 10 hour marathon streams are tough. They're really hard on me. And so uh, this is like something we're actually gonna do over a series, which should be super good. Um, and this will last, I, I wanna do it right and have you guys be a part of it the whole time. Uh, did I see the Bone Lab teaser? No, I did not. I don't know if you know what that is. So, um, but yeah, I'm really excited about this. Uh, really excited about doing this, like the 30,000, yeah, exactly. The 30,000 build was a great example of one that was just like good. <clears throat> uh, so we've already, we've already booted it. It does boot, but um, we did that uh, earlier in the stream. But yes, we, did, we weren't planning on doing the whole build in one stream. We just knew it was going to be two. Education, let's go. There we go. Uh, what size 2D? Uh, 14 millimeter is the plan. Yeah, 14 millimeter. So... Yeah, Sinister Dev, uh, I always use three screws to get to get to hold it in because I know the other screws will hold it down just fine. So use three screws to hold it, to place it, and then use the other. Then from there, it's really easy to just kind of get it mounted. I'm glad you guys enjoyed it. You guys are rock stars. We will see you guys in Boston. That is the next stop. I jump on a plane tomorrow, heading over to Boston. Plus, you'll see you live on YouTube. Check out, we did air cool at 12900K. That video just came out live. We still have a whole nother week for you guys to get in on that 3070 Ti giveaway. Uh, super appreciate all of the people, six people who basically did support us on the HelloFresh thing. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed uh, the, the eating and everything else, just a little bit different. Um, and I appreciate you guys and all you guys do. Anyway, guys, have a great night. Don't forget, last thing, don't forget to go leave some feedback. There's a $25 just cash payment on the, on the, uh, on the line. Head on over to youtube.com slash as soon as the stream ends. 
Leave a comment. Let us know feedback, what you liked, what you didn't like. It could be positive or negative, not just can I have a free PC or you're very attractive. I know that. Um, but uh, leave us some quality feedback, and one of you guys will walk away with 25 bucks as long as you accept Venmo and PayPal. Just make sure you put your email in your YouTube profile, okay? That's going to be the super important part. Also, don't forget to like and subscribe over at YouTube. Uh, make sure you slap that subscribe button and rip that like button and ring that notification bell so you get a notification each and every time we also go live on YouTube with many other things. You guys are rock stars. I appreciate my mods. I appreciate my tech specialists, and I appreciate Tom and Blondie who always make these things awesome. Super appreciate you guys, and we'll see you guys on the next stream. Bye, guys.